he's a top three singer of all time. I ain't stepping the name of love. He was stepping the name of love, but in different directions. R. Kelly got hits, bro. I still Robert is a monster. R. Kelly though, <laughs> that nigga different, bro. <laughs> Robert Sylv- Sylvester Sylvester Kelly. Uh, I can't. I ain't, rock. I ain't me. That ain't I my man. I can't rock with you, bro. You weird. I ain't my brother. But R. Kelly, nigga, nigga that made trapped in the closet, nigga. Wait. What? The camera is on though. It is on. But so this wasn't on. Th- oh. Man. I know. You see. Fuck. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> the world this new camera is looking at me looking so wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, people. Episode number Corey. 106. That's very wrong. 160. Oh. You got the two numbers. <laughs> inc- that's incorrect, crazy. Incorrect. Welcome yeah. to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number 160. Oh, yeah. We definitely way past 106. Yes. If y'all new to the channel, I am your host, DWAK Darius. I'm here with my co host, KP Corey, in the building. Say what's good to the folks. What's good, my guys? I look more HD. You see this pimple on my cheek? Can yeah. You- no, we, we in 4K now, people. We got new cameras shout out to y'all for supporting us for the last three years we finally upgraded from the phone so i can finally have my phone now on my hand so if y'all want to see 4k i don't know how to do it my bad 4k diesel but yeah we got a lot more a lot more content coming to y'all straight to y'all tvs and stuff like that or your phones or whatever but if y'all new channel subscribe comment down below all that good stuff um What's that called? shout out to all our sponsors sponsor shout out to seat geek use code no regulars at checkout to get Wait, hold on. Oh. Shout out to I'm folding. You know what yeah. it is? Cause people, we got. I can see myself now, and this is kind of crazy. I don't like I that. Know, I'm looking at my. I like it. I don't, I don't like it because I, I don't like looking at myself. But anyways, use our code No Regulars on Seat Geek if you're new to Seat Geek to get twenty dollars off any orders, fifty dollars or more. Think about it, people. You can use Seat Geek for sporting events, concerts, uh, conventions, anything that is in a big setting. You can use Seat Geek, and it will give you twenty dollars off any order over fifty dollars or more. The MLB I, playoffs is in. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Corey. What did you want to say? I just used it to go to a Liberty game yesterday. Exactly. I just watched them beat... Uh, Kelsey Plum? Kelsey Plum and Asia Wilson. Exactly. New York Liberty, we on top, baby. You know Sabrina Anakanu. Anaka, that's not her name. Inesco, I know. Josh Hart called her Anakanu, so that shit's mad funny. Oh, really? So he put you on? Yeah, he put me on. I didn't want nobody... Oh, uh, yo, you copying Josh Hart. Oh, yeah, so you're letting him know now. Yeah, Smart yeah, man, I, smart man. I copied Josh Hart. But yeah, use our code no regulars on SeatGeek to get $20 off. For any order over fifty dollars more, if you're new to Seat Geek, code no regulars N O R G U L A R S, and use our code no regulars for prize picks to get five. If you put five dollars in for any picks or entries for prize picks, you get fifty dollars back automatically, win, lose, or draw. So you people, you will always win regardless, and you can use that to place more money on more entries. Think about it. if you put a hundred dollars in for an entry, you can win up to a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars. People, all we want is free money. It's free money, right, Core? Free money, I love it. I just put, a, I just placed in an entry for Prize Pick as we was talking. I'm going to go on. Damn, we'll play Thursday. <laughs> oh, for football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no clue. Damn it, they just caught me lying. <laughs> <laughs> they just caught me lying. Y'all caught me lying. But I'm going to place an entry on Prize Pick when it starts for the NBA season. I'm going to go, uh, Memphis Grizzlies over the um. Utah Jazz. There we go. I'm exactly. Gonna go, I'm gonna go. Uh, my New York Knicks off of the Boston Celtics. There we go. How much? How much over for Jalen Brunson? Over, how much are you gonna put? Uh, he gonna have to have like 20, 26. He gonna have like twenty six game one. That's cool. That's Joel cool. Holiday and I lock twenty six over twenty six and a half or over twenty five and a half. Twenty five and a half. That's cool. That's cool. That's, That's cool. Easy money. That's cool. So use our code Norvegas N O R G U L A R S. But speaking of sports, Corey. Like if y'all don't know, me and Corey are diehard Knicks fans. We are love our Knicks, and there's a lot, a lot of stuff been going on with the Knicks. We got a new player. Shout out Carl Anthony Towns. I'm not shouting you out. Why not, bro? The big purr, bro. Fuck big purr, bro. Nah, I don't bro. want that nigga on my team. I miss Julius Randle. I miss Dante DiVincenzo. I miss already, Dante bro. Julius. I love Julius though, but it's 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 time. I brought bro. a shirt of the Villanova Knicks, bro. Did you really? Yeah. You should have wore it. Now I gotta throw it out. You should have wore that shirt. I should have thought. I should have wore it. Dang, that's t- I wait. Gotta throw it out, bro. It's just Divincenzo, Hart, Mikel, and, and Brunson. That's kind of hard. And I got, I got, I got to scratch. Uh, Divincenzo, Divincenzo's out. Would you? What if they would have traded Hart? Would you have minded? No, nigga, I'd have been more mad. Oh really? Yeah, I'd have been more mad if they traded Hart. If they traded Hart, I'd have been. I'd have been I'm not gonna lie, I might not be a Knicks fan no more. I heard the 
So what the um? That's not true. Dante wasn't happy. Da- Dante, no, 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 no. Dante no. was happy. No, no. I knew he was happy. I'm saying the 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 first trade was Mitchell Robinson and it was. Julius Randle, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was like hell no. Yeah, why would they do that? Well, Mitchell Robinson and Rudy Gobert back front court. No, 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 no. That's no. nasty work, <laughs> bro. That's nasty. First of all, okay. That, that was a stretch, but like, dang, you can't throw in like Miles McBride. Like, I don't want Miles McBride. Like, he's tough. Nah, they ain't want Miles McBride. He shoot forty percent from three. Okay, but now you got to step up. Now I need you at least score average twelve a game. I think bro. they they offered, but if if I'm, I hope for Minnesota because Minnesota didn't have to make this trade because we offered them like eight different things and they said no and they was like they've been yeah. this trade been going on for like a year. Not not a year since since draft night. Really? No, but they've been talking. Well, they, it was like speculations last but, summer. I hope like Randall, because this is Randall. I hope he balls out and leave and get a good contract. And, and you get. I hope he leaves. Cause now you just made a. You just made that pick for no reason. Like you did that for no reason. Yeah. Like cat. Like cat love Minnesota. He mm-hmm. was never leaving. I will. I hope Randall balls out and bounces. And now you like, dang. You oh, made so that for trade Minnesota, for no reason. Yeah, because yeah, Minnesota the reason why. Like I mean, obviously, like the Knicks offered it, but like y'all niggas didn't have to say yes. Y'all didn't have to mess us up. That's true. I think the only reason that they did that is because Carlton Towns got like his contract's od. Like that junk's fifty, bro. He's making fifty million, fifty-five. It is OD. That's a lot of money. But at the end of the day, though, like you gotta, like, you gotta have to pay Julius that too. Yeah, nah. Well, I mean, that's what I think he wanted. Yeah, and yeah. Then the Knicks was like, yeah, nah. But I think also they was like, cause they wasn't do, they wasn't coming to agreement with his extension. Yeah. And they didn't want to lose Randall to mm-hmm. nothing in the all season. So I get it, but I just. Oh, do you geez. think we got better? That's the real question. Unfortunately. I think we did get a little. No, I don't think. I don't think we got. I don't think we. I don't think we moved the needle. If we didn't lose Divincenzo, I oh, think we'd have been over we'd the top. We'd have been good. But losing Divincenzo, I think, is going to be big for us, bro. I, no, no, I think so too. Because now that's like the depth. Yeah. Because now we got. You have to rely on Miles McBride, which I think he's capable of doing. Nah. You don't think so? Nah. D- Dante Divincenzo wasn't did. all that good before we got to we, the mix. Yes, he was, but he was good in Milwaukee. He, he averaged like ten. He got hurt, bro. He was a, he was he was a young bull. I know, but when he was on the Warriors, he only averaged like ten points a game. He got hurt. He playing behind stuff. I know. Well, he was gonna play behind. That's what I'm saying. I think McBride can now fill in the six man role. Nah, I hope you trade that nigga, bro. Really? Why? I don't want him. Why did you want? We him? just signed TJ Warren, bro. Why did we sign TJ? That's like Warren? that's like for like training camp deals, though. Man. But like you know, I heard. So what they were trying to do is now they're trying to trade Mitchell Robinson for either another big or like Trey Murphy. I heard about Trey Murphy. I like I Trey Murphy. I wouldn't mind Trey Murphy. Trey I Murphy, OD. I ain't gonna lie, he I nice. Would, I'll, I'll I'll take that. He, but I want to. We need a four or another five. Trey Murphy can play the four. He like six nine. He's just skinny six, as hell. Seven. He's six, six seven. Yeah. How tall is he? Six seven. Corey Corey be on that that two K for real, bro. He know everything. Trey Murphy. Look, the thing first thing coming up Trey Murphy Knicks. I think he's six six actually. Six yeah. eight. Oh my bad. Average fourteen point eight points again, four point nine rebounds, no, two point two six. He can't run the four though. He's so skinny, and I don't like OG running the four because, like I said, we need a natural four because it's not about like you got to run like it's like AD running the five. He's running to people that's like bigger than him. Muscling him up, they're like that's not your natural position. That's how you get hurt. That's why Kawhi gets hurt because he's running the four, not the three. Mm-hmm. That's why KD gets hurt because he's running the four, not the three. So you want you rather OG run like the three? Yeah, like that's I, like I'd rather yeah because like then like that saves somebody that saves injury. Yeah, that is true. Because like that's like me, that's like you guarding me if we was nice. Like, I'm, yeah, but like nowadays, I'm gonna punish you, bro. Nowadays, like OG is still like six seven. Six, six eight. seven, yeah, but still, like and he's he's pretty sturdy. But it's like the, the but he's injury prone. Like if I know, he wasn't injury yeah. prone. Like Josh Hart is not injury prone. So I don't mind six four playing the the four five. Yeah, because you're not injury prone. If you're injury prone and you're going against people that's gonna muscle you, bump you, you're gonna get hurt. Mm. And that's that's why like AD stayed hurt. That's why people like 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 that hurt, stay hurt because uh-huh. you're not playing your natural position and you're guarding people. That's not your net. So you're getting a beating every night. That's true. <clears throat> I think, but we, it's like, there's not a lot of people on the market for real. There's not. It's the, we the, shouldn't the, have made a move. We should just, we should, let, just let, let it we rock. Should, we should not have made no move. We made the move already. I th- yeah, I think we would, you know what? I think if anything, we should have waited another year. We just should, to, well, we should wait to wait to trade that line. See, see, yeah. see how shit going, bro. Yeah, just wait to trade. Niggas hooping, niggas not hooping. Right, you know what it was? It was the fact that Mitchell Robinson's not coming back till January. That scared him. Yeah, but still. because they're like, bro, Mitchell Robinson, they don't. They're bro, not. We should have made a 
We should have. I mean, we did though. We did make. That's it. what I'm saying. That's the only trade we. That was the only thing available because Utah Jazz wasn't giving us nothing. We offered like McBride and a, and like a, and like a couple of second round picks for Walker I wanted, Kessler. I wanted Walker Kessler. Bro. I don't know why they didn't hit up. I would. Really, but I, Danny Ainge not doing. Was never doing that. I would have hit up Portland and I would have picked up. They was talking about. I don't want Aiden though. Not Aiden. I would have picked up Robert Williams. Nah, another nigga always hurt. Might I know. That's well, what I'm saying. He gets hurt a lot. Might as well stay with uh, Mr. Robinson. And then another person. What's we, his name? The Time Lord? Who? His nickname? The, the Time yeah, Lord? Yeah, I don't know why. That's freaking That's weird. weird. That makes me a little hesitant. That's kind of weird. But, like, he's a rebounder. And then another person I was thinking was maybe, like, Valanchunas, but he signed to freaking yeah, Washington. We can't, trade, we can't trade for him until to December anyway. So yeah. So, might as well wait for Mitch. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, literally, the market is, like, nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, there was literally nobody. And, like, Hartenstein really met, like... If if Hardstyle would have stayed, oh, none of this would have happened. Yeah, I think for that nigga seventy five million, bro. I'm I know, I ain't go, but like you know what, Tibbs has a has a reputation for like helping big men out. Mm-hmm. You know what, we could actually we we could trade for Nick Richards. I ain't mad at that. I know you are, but I ain't no, mad. I ain't mad. That. I ain't mad. He he is solid player. He averaged ten and eight. Mad. I ain't mad, bro. That ain't bad. That's, that ain't bad. That's something. But like that, that's my guy. He probably don't remember who I am. <laughs> but that's the type of player like Tibbs can mold into somebody like Hartenstein. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just an offense. I rebound. think I don't think Hartenstein was the big boss, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think it's a bunch of Hartensteins out there, bro. Yeah, I'm saying we can like Tibbs can I think make a gonna, center. I think he's gonna he's gonna go to OKC. And he's gonna he's not gonna be that good. You don't think so? Nope. Mm, that's a hot take. That's a hot take because he really fits that team well. Because now Chet can move to the four. Yeah, but. Or would you would he would he come off the bench be six man? Nah, would, there's yeah, he got to come off the bench. There's no bro. way he paid cuz thirty million. Got to come off the bench, bro. Bench player making thirty. Yeah, that's crazy work, bro. That's that sucks though. Cause who's gonna start? Shea Caruso. Shea Caruso, Dort, and and then Chet, J- and then J- Arnstein. Will. Not oh J- shoot! J- oh, look, oh, look. Oh, oh. Shea Caruso or Shea Lou Dort. And then J Dub. Nah, see, nah. Really? Nah, nah. Because so you would take you let J Dub be the four. Mm-hmm. Even though I won't like it, but yeah. We'll see. I don't want Chet running the four, bro. Why not? Seven three. Because bro. look, you could do you could do this. You could do what they've been doing. They did with AD when they won the championship. They had uh, Joel. They not Joel. They had um, yeah, Javale McGree. AD Chet is not AD. I know, but Chet could block shots I'm not though. Chet might be nice. Chet nice though. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm, like, hating. I'm like, yo, Chet could Chet literally... nice. They could that, they could definitely make that work. They can have him just but be a roamer. Hart Hartenstein is not Dwight. He's not. I mean, he's not Dwight, but like he can rebound. All they need is a rebounder and somebody nah, to pass Dwight a little bit. Punching shit. Well, like dunking it. I mean, Hartenstein no. could do it. Punch. Get that shit out of here. Nigga. I know, but like he, he don't need to be that. He just needs to get him enough to, and then Chet will come over and clean up. Nah. I'm you know what I'm saying? I don't know. We'll nah, see. that could work. I'm just hating. <laughs> I'm just really hating. I, don't, I don't want him to win. I'm hating. Hey, bro. We'll see. So, would you rather them not have OG? Who? Us? Yeah. So, would you rather take OG or Hardenstein? Like, which one? You, like, you, oh, my Hardenstein? Oh, you rather the OG? Nigga, we need OG, bro. I know. Yo, you know he held Joel and Embiid in the playoffs like when he was guarding like he was yeah, 7 for 21. Bro. That's 30%. OG's, OD's, OG is nice. Bro. <laughs> OG's OD. <laughs> OG's OD, bro. I don't know what his real name is. OG. No, like his African name. OG. No, it's not. I don't know. I did something else. But then JaVale McGee asked Bam, he said, what's your full name? Oh, no, he said, what do Bam stand for? Bam said, any means pop. Wait, no. By any means. By any means. And nigga said, nah, like, what's your African name? Like, is Bama Mute or something? <laughs> that's right. Oh, wait, crying, what was the thing bro? that they called him in the in the Olympics? Who, Bama Mute, right? That was Bama Mute. I thought it was something else. Like, Bama Lito. No, no, I thought it was Bama Mute because they was making fun of uh, JaVale McGee. Because I remember, like, you know what his real name is? It's Bama, isn't it? No, it's Idris. <laughs> yeah. That's his real name, Idris. That's weird. <laughs> they, like, his mom just called him Bam, I guess. His like, name is Idris. Idris, yeah. <laughs> Like just like how John Moran, that's not his name. I know his name is Tremetrius. That's freaking. That's so hood. That and it, I think Trey Young name is R- what, Randall or something. Or what oh, is no, it? no, no. What's his name? It's like it's, it's weird. a weird name. It's, it's like Randell or something or, or, or Rand something. Trey Young, hold on. What's his real name? His real name is Rayford. Rayford. Yeah, I know it's a bit weird. That Rayford. was a weird ass Rayford Young. I know Steph Curry's Wardell. I would have changed my name too. My name Rayford. The Rayford, hell is that? that what is you ugly. doing? That's I mean, ugly. That's Rayford. So that's ugly. like a, I mean, he is an ugly dude. I ain't gonna hold you. He, he used to be good looking. No, he he always looked like a mop. 
Yeah, he did. He always his head looked like a mop, bro. Are you for ill? I know, like that just that like like you tried too hard. Yeah, yeah bro. like you try to make something cool because something unique. Nah, it wasn't tough. Why would you name me that? <laughs> I would and like Trey. Like where you get Rayford and then you call me Trey? Like think, that has a middle name. That's middle name. But like Trey. like why why is it my middle name Rayford? Trey Rayford. Young. Like that's wild. Like that's yeah, oh, dude, why can't be Trey to, Rayford, yo? Yeah, why you do that to me, bro? <laughs> Ew. There's somebody it's, else in the league. They got weird names. There's definitely a lot. Hold on. A lot. Let me see. Weird NBA player well, names. I know uh, Ray Allen's real name is Walter. Really? Well, oh yeah, I do remember that. Oh wait, I don't. Uh, I don't come up. Or just put. NBA oh wait, never mind. Real names. Uh, it is. Let's go look. Look through this. What? It says Giannis Antetokounmpo is. Oh wait, no. Oh no, they just give. They're giving me like names of like, like it's not like their real names. It's just weird names in general. I, I got you right it. now. What? Ray Allen, Walter Ray Allen Jr. Tony Parker real name is William. William Tony Parker. William Anthony Parker. What? Oh, so is okay. Karan Butler, real name is James. His name is what? James. Karan Butler is James James Butler? James Karan Butler. DeAndre okay. Jordan's real name is Highland. Highland? Highland DeAndre Jordan Jr. <laughs> 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 no, nah, these are ugly. I wouldn't take him serious his name Highland. That's like a little ass white kid. I think his name is Highland, bro. Yeah. Who named you that? Does D Rose got a different name? I mean his real name is po- I mean his nickname is Poe, but like He don't got no yeah, he don't got nothing cool. Oh, uh, what's you know what his middle name is? Mar 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 Matrell Matrell. He my son. Hold on. Matrell. It starts with an M. Hold on. Derek Rose full name. I'm about to say he got the same. His middle name close to mine. My middle name Matrell. It's, it's ma, ma something. Masa. No, nah, like Masa- something. Masogony. Oh, I thought it was right. It's Matrell. Matrell. Yeah. That's disgusting. That is some Derek Matrell. Matrell uh, Rose. I knew I wasn't tripping. I know that's that. like M. M U T like Latrell with M. Wow, he's really my son. But how you feel about Derrick Rose retiring, bro? Oh man, I, sh- I, I shed a couple of tri- I shed a couple of tears. You bro. cried, cause yeah, Latrell. That's Martell. Martell. Oh whatever, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Mar- <laughs> oh yeah, Martell. 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 Yeah. Nah, yeah. If you feel me, anybody that knows me. Knows I'm a Derrick Rose fanatic, bro. Yeah, like, cool. I've been a, I've been I've been a day one Derrick Rose fan. I used to be a Braun fan, and then Derrick Rose got drafted, and then he became a Derrick Rose fan. Like every two K he makes, every two K player mm-hmm. makes is Derrick Rose. Literally, literally, I make Derrick Rose every year, bro. Literally, my first game, my first my first college game. Mm-hmm. I, I wish I never watched this game. Uh, Derrick Rose dropped twenty seven on. Damn, it was Sweet Sixteen. I forget. I forget who he played. Uh-huh. That was, he had twenty seven. That was my first college game I ever watched, bro. Mm-hmm. I've been a Derrick Rose fan ever since, bro. Wow. Watched him lose in Kansas. Watched him get drafted, bro. Like Der- I, I watched Derrick Rose's whole career, and that's why this hurt so much, bro. Oh man. I watched every. I watched the. I watched the comeback Adidas trailers, bro. I remember, really? I remember, you yo, wear the shoes? Nah, I don't wear Adidas. Why? I have a, I have a, a theory that like most people that get hurt wear Adidas. Okay, so you never wear Adidas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's most people that tore the ACL wear Adidas. That's respectable. So I, I, I never I never wear Adidas. Okay. But, like nah, like Derrick Rose was literally like my whole. I watched his whole career. Like that was my, like so, and it, it made it worse because I, I knew it was coming. Mm-hmm. Because. He was posting weird shit on Instagram. Like what? Like his like, kids? Like no, like crypto, like poetry or something. I'm like, oh, like peace. Like he's at I'm peace like, this or something like that. Be, I said this nigga's being weird. He's about to retire. Yeah, bro. And he's about to be 36 or 37. Bro, he's fourth. been in the league for how long? So I think he's about to be 37 on the fourth. So like I knew it was coming. I just wish he got a farewell tour. Would you have wished he signed with Chicago? No. Like as a like a like how Amari Star might do with the oh Knicks. yeah yeah he could do that but like I wish he I wish he did one more run this year with like a like a Boston or like a contender yeah like because honestly there have been a lot of players that had some farewell tours that didn't need like Paul Pierce I don't think he needed that but nah you think Paul Pierce would have had nah because he like Paul Pierce was the truth but like he never like he don't have a fandom like, like yeah D like Rose. D Rose or like a Vince Carter. Not yeah, like like a Dirk, like a Dirk had a fandom. Yeah, you feel me. The Dirk Kobe was like, had a fandom. Like Derrick Rose got like a ride or die. Like Vince Carter he, does too, low key. He do, yeah, he do. But I would, I would, I just wish he had like, I wish he would have like played this year and be like this is my last year. Mm, instead of like doing it in the summer, I think yeah. he was just done. Especially when he went to Memphis, I think he was cooked after that. Yeah. What was the team he was at before? What was his team? He was on the Knicks. Mm-hmm. 
he went from the Knicks to, to Memphis. He went from no, he went to he was in Detroit for a year. Went to Detroit to New York, New York to Memphis. No, I thought I thought he went from Chicago to New York and then New York to Cav- no, the went, Cavs. He, no, he went yeah Chicago. Let me look this to up New right York. now. Okay, Chicago New to New York, York to Cleveland. No, to, technically New York to Utah to Cleveland, Minnesota, Detroit, Knicks back to Men- uh, to Memphis. He went to the Knicks twice. Mm-hmm. Oh, he did. Dang, I didn't remember that. He wore twenty five, and then he wore four this last time. Mm. Don't play with me, bro. So he went to he went to Chicago. He was in Chicago, Chicago then New York, New York, then Cleveland, Utah, technically Cleveland, Minnesota, mm-hmm. Detroit, New York, Memphis. Memphis. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty impressive and scary, Corey. But I respect bro, it though. My favorite player of all time. Like, Is this a Hall of Fame career? Nah, uh, yeah. Tracy McGrady's in the Hall of Fame. Y'all yeah, I mean in the Hall of Fame. What's that? What that guy doing thing with anything? Neither one of them have MVPs. Neither one have rookie of the years. I think Yao Ming do actually. No, Yao Ming. Yao Ming deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. So Derrick Rose. I know, but Yao Ming Rose, was an All Star every year he was in the league, though. Derrick Rose was an All Star all of his prime years. Yeah, well, not as not as like like when he walked like Yao Ming walked into an All Star game, like fresh off Derrick China, Rose, bro. Derrick Rose walked into a Game Seven with the reigning champs. Did he win? Nah. <laughs> But he took him to game seven. He averaged 17 and five. That's cool. Yeah, no, nah, I, I think Derrick Rose is going to get MVP. I'm going to get a Hall of Fame. I feel like he's going to. I think he he's not going to be first ballot, but he's going to get one. Like, Chad, he's a T Mac. What, what T Mac do more than Derrick Rose? Score. And he's just an icon, yeah, I guess. Derrick Rose is an icon. That's what I'm saying. Legend, Derrick Rose is an icon, so that's why it would probably help him a lot more. Like, I put him above T Mac, honestly. I put him above everybody. He's the greatest. <laughs> nah, nah, Derrick Rose, that, that hurt me, bro. That hurt me. Hey, if you're watching this, D Rose, just know I I know you be talking to these other film. You, you talk to that what's the nigga uh, Kenny? Kenny? That nigga's not your number one fan, bro. He wasn't there when I like he wasn't there. When, like I watch you in the barber shop and I cried when you tore your ACL, bro. Like that's real shit, bro. Real stuff, people. That's crazy. What if D Rose on this podcast? Shit, I might give him a hug, bro. I, I, I'm, I, I'll be I'll be completely honest with you. As much as of a D Rose fan I am, I don't want to meet him. That's crazy work. I don't want to meet him because I feel like he'll disappoint me. Why? Because I'm what like, expectation do you have for a man you don't know? Like he just he's he's just I, like his personality. Like for me, if it be it be different if he like come on like 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 he did with Kenny. Kenny was interviewing him, so he like yeah. he knew Kenny was. He don't know who I am. You feel me? So he gonna meet me and just be like. Oh, I mean, yeah, if we up? get to that point, that's what I'm saying. If we get to that point, I wouldn't meet him. What if I what if I do an interview? You're not here. I won't be your friend. No more. <laughs> Really won't be your friend no more, <laughs> like legit, like, like, <laughs> like, uh, like that's that's that like uh, that's out of po- like business everything, bro. Like, we're not friends no more. Like, don't like I will not be on this podcast no more if you do me like that. That'd yeah. be crazy. That'd be crazy work. I, would, I I literally wouldn't talk to you no more. I wouldn't. Bro. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be mad at you. Like, I, that's I wild. would block you. That's wild like, work, you, bro. You, I would, like Darius Walkers would no longer be a name. That, in my in your phone? No, in my life. <laughs> You know how it went, bro. You'll be, it'll be like, this is how it's going to be. D Rose is going to be sitting right there. You're going to be right there. We're going to be here and we're just going to sandwich cuz. Nah, we're not. Whoa, what are we talking about, bro? We're what you mean? Like, we're not sandwiching my mans, bro. No, 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 no. Like, we're sandwiched as where we're sitting. So, like, he's in the middle of me and you. I might just stare at him the whole time. Like, come on, cuz. Aura, bro. Like, come on, cuz. Don't stare at cuz. Like, I'm going to just be like, yo, you D Rose. The worst part is we might never hear from this nigga ever again. Bro. I know. He might go. In, <laughs> like he go unless get, his son is nice. I mean, his, his son. son who? I mean, his son might be nice, but I'm, I don't give a fuck about his son. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, with Melo, like, you don't hear from him, but like, because his son nice. Like, you nice. do hear from me on the whole podcast. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Oh, that is true. D Rose is just going to go off the freaking grid. That nigga's going to go off the grid. Like, Joe Keem Noah, bro. Then Yo Kimo was a hippie now, bro. I know. Imagine D Rose get like that. No, he can't. He's living in Chicago. He a hood. Dude. Why, I, I bet you he never go back to Chicago. He's not going back to Chicago. That is true. He's not. He in L A right now. Dang, he was a vegan. He's not going back to Chicago. He gonna bro. become a vegan. Start wearing glasses. Start getting you more already, tattoos. You already start wearing glasses. Ah oh, damn. Start wearing, start wearing the weird headpieces, bro. Ah, oh, because we're never, we're never gonna hear about him ever again. And bro. he already got the dreads. Is, are those like the the free form dreads? No, nah, no, nah, he got them parted though. Okay, okay. I thought he started yeah. all free form, but he got them. He got them. Uh, he got them official. I'm about to say he looked like the the. Now Joker Israelite. Noah shits is Je- all over the place. He, he looked like Jesus, bro. Oh Jesus, bro. Hey man, if you want to know what Jesus really looked like. Look at Joe Kim Noah, bro. <laughs> That's what Jesus really looked like. <laughs> yeah, because it's crazy, bro. But nah, bro. I think I was talking about this before. I think this is the like our generation of like sports Yo, is going down, bro. Literally, I I literally just said that in the chat and like our betting chat. 
I said that in the next five years, all of our like, like with what the era of basketball or well, sports in general too, but like basketball specifically because we really watch basketball. Mm-hmm. Our era of basketball is going to be completely done, bro. Mm-hmm. And like, I also no more Kyrie, no more Steph, no more Braun, no more, yeah. no more KD. AD, no more KD, no more. You know what's crazy? Like I Ky- th- like Dame, everybody's going to be gone. PG, yeah. Kawhi, Harden. You know what I think? I think our generation that we grew up watching sports, like just all sports in general, it might be one of the greatest generations of like all time. Because you got to think about it. We grew up, we got Tom Brady. We Cole, got we got Braun. Kobe, Braun. We got Messi, Ronaldo. Derrick Rose. You can say Derrick Rose. We got, and then think about wrestling. Randy we Orton, John Steph, Cena. We got Steph. We Steph got Curry. Because John Cena about to retire. This is last year. I mean, yeah, he's been retired. I know, but like that, he officially said it. I, I watched the video mm-hmm. and it was a sound. It was like, uh, I'm feeling it. Does it matter? It was like oh, a yeah, yeah. and it was like a sad about. video. It was like uh-huh. and it was like him. I uh, fu- made it. Yeah. I made it. Was it that? No, no. You you went to uh-huh. the part they don't put for the TikTok video. Uh-huh. It was like, cause you know I'm okay, oh, no, no, but no. still I ask myself why do you worry? No, you know, know you don't know that song. No, no. It's, no. it's like a you know what it is. It's the um. It's a Rod Wave song. Oh. It's like the. It's like the. I don't listen to that sad nigga. Yo, you hating on? I haven't listened to Rod Wave in a minute, but it's like, it's it's like the the what's that called? Like when it's a sample. It's a sample oh, on one of the songs. Like, that's how it starts off. And like it's like it starts with uh with John Cena like the piano playing mm-hmm. and him saying like yeah this is gonna be my last WrestleMania ever and then it goes to like his highlights and then it starts singing the song and I, yo I got so sad bro. Then you gotta send me that. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you, bro. Like bro, that's what I'm saying. Like our generation of nah, sports, we, we, we had did. the greatest, bro. I mean, some some old head. Old head's like, gonna say because of Michael Jordan, but like honestly, like of all sports in general, we I had Michael lie. Phelps. I ain't gonna lie though. They nine. Uh, they got Mike. They got Stone Cold. They got The Rock. They got uh, who played football in the nineties? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. We <laughs> had we literally got Tom Brady. They probably yeah you saying Bolt. Yeah, you you saying Bolt. I mean, they probably they could say um, they had like Randy Moss. Maybe like Brett Favre, but like nothing, nah, 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 like nothing, nothing compared to Brady. We got Brady and Patrick Mahomes, and we got Rodgers too. And we got oh, and we got Aaron Rodgers. Like I'm saying, like I think our generation, like the early like UFC, 2000 to now, John Jones, John Jones. We got uh, you boxing. Call? We got Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. I'm about to say, do you count Liddell in them in our era? Because I watched Liddell. What Chuck Liddell? Uh-huh. No, uh huh. No, that's a little before. No, I, that's like, I watched. No, him. that's a, because Grand of, Pace, Jackson. Like because I the UFC them. started in like early 2000s, late 2000s, like 2008. I said, I, 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 I remember watching them, so like. Nah, Rampage Jackson should be OD. OD, bro. You like, seen when he went to freaking Japan, bro? Nah, I see that. No, Rampage Jackson, the one, uh, he's the light skinned dude, right? That's not the one who died. Nah, he got. Uh, you talking about Kimbo Slice? No, 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 no. I think I'm, I'm think I'm bugging. I'm thinking Rampage of, Jackson's a big black dude, bro. You ever seen the meme the dude that broke like was bunch? Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude, this, this, okay, this is what I'm talking about. I'm thinking about somebody else because there was another UFC fight that died, but. Rampage Jackson went on a podcast and he was saying like how like when he was in the UFC he would go fight in Japan uh-huh. and I remember he I don't know if you've seen the move where he brought some dude up top and slammed him and Probably. knocked him out yeah yeah but like once he did that like you, you know who the Yakuza is that's like the main gang in like Japan like that yeah. runs like the mafia in Japan they hit him up and they was like yo like like they brought him into like a like a like a back room in like a club mm-hmm. like in like the like, a, like think of like Batman yeah. like with like the penguins stuff. it was like that and he said he had never seen so many like Japanese people talk speaking English and smoking weed like black people in his life, bro. <laughs> and he said some big ass dude, like a six six Japanese guy, came up, Aki as hell, uh-huh. came up. He was like the leader at the time, I guess. And he was like, "Yo, he's like, I see you fighting and whatever." He's like, "But I want, I want to make uh, make money with you." This, that, and third. He's like, "We can, like, you can do a clothing business, whatever. I'm gonna give you the money for it, but I want you to like promote it, whatever." And he said he like if he would have went back, he would have done that. But he said. His wife at the time, who was Japanese, was like, nah, like, we don't do business with these type of people. Because, like, those people, like, you mess with their money, they're going to come and kill you. Yeah. So, I feel like they seen him do that. They're, that's, like, an easy way to, like, publicize, publicize and make bread. Mm-hmm. And they were looking at him to, like, you know, you know, just start this clothing or whatever. Like, it's light for you. For you. Regardless, you're going to get paid for it. Yeah. But as long as you, like, don't do nothing fish, you're going to be green. But he mm-hmm. said if he would go back, back in time, he'll do it. Yeah. I don't think me personally. I ain't working uh-huh. with no damn gang. I ain't doing it. Especially yet. with those, those are the type of people that get the samurai swords and cut your head off. As I said, I'm not doing nothing where I potentially I could fail and you kill me. Yeah, like, like especially like imagine, imagine he didn't want to do it no more. He's like, nah, you in this for life, bro. Yeah, like now, nah, wait, like come on, I, like I want, like I want to be in something where like 
it's either life or death. Yeah, like, I'm cool, bro. And especially with that, like, I'd be homeless. <laughs> yeah, especially with that, right? It's like you can like. Like you, you might start off with clothing brand, but then mm-hmm. you might go to like, all right, now I want you to like uh, bring this brick with you to the yeah. clothing drop and give it to this guy, and then it's gonna start piling on. Now you're doing freaking drug trafficking or whatever, mm-hmm. some wild stuff. Now you're stuck in it. Like I would yeah. never do no business, but I was just thinking that I because agree. I was thinking of Rampage Jackson, and I, I thought it was yeah, a cool nah, ass story. Now nah, we definitely got hella athletes though. Yeah, I'm saying we got a good generation, bro. Connor McDavid, that nigga's nice. Bro. Yeah, Connor McDavid. We got the other Jeter, Ray Dick, Rod, mm-hmm. yep, Sh- Sh- Shohei. Otani. Derek, uh, no, I said Derek. Uh, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge, yeah. Now yeah. we definitely our era. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Jer- Aaron Judge our era for real. Though. He kind of, kind of new. Oh, like, to, like, so the younger. I mean, Shohei yeah. is the same thing then. So yeah, yeah, but like we got Jeter, A Rod. Uh, nah. That's uh, what's it? What's not? Not um. Niggas, I know for real. What's the? What's the other? Uh, uh, what's the other dude's name? He played with his son. Oh, uh, King King Ken uh, Griffey. King Griffey. That's like, like that's oh, that's before us. That's though. before us though, right? That was that's like nineties. Like yeah. I heard he was, I heard he was like OD, like he was tough. His shoes is OD. That's what I'm saying. He, that was the first baseball player I ever seen with shoes, bro. Yeah, nah, he had basketball shoes for. Real. That was tough. I ain't gonna lie. He was like the Dion Grant, not the, maybe Dion Grant at baseball. Dion Grant and like because you know how Dion's like in a lot of things. Like mm-hmm. I feel like Ken Griffey or something like that, but I haven't heard from Ray him since. Ray Lewis, we had the Ray, we had Ray Lewis. Yeah, Ray Lewis. Legion of Doom, more, uh, Legion of Boom. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. Marshawn Lynch. We had a lot of good people, yeah. bro. I'm telling you, we really like from the early from the early 2000s. Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, Julian Edmonds. Like, if you was still around, he probably took all his passes. You would never be the, the same player. Hmm. That's what Julian Edmonds said. I don't know. I ain't hmm. saying nothing about that guy. I ain't gonna get canceled. But yeah, man, they got a, they got a show about him. Who? Aaron Hernandez? Yeah, I know. On FX. I might watch that shit. There's, There's anything like the Clippers show. I ain't watching that shit. That, that don't look booty. Oh, nigga. The hell? That shit is bad. I seen the acting on this. I'm like, who are they supposed to be playing? That Chris Paul and DeAndre? Whose idea was this? That shit. They clearly they consult nobody. nobody. <laughs> they did they not said, talk to making this shit. That's crazy work, bro. And I thought it was gonna be tough because the sh- Magic, the Showtime shit. That shit yeah. was hard, bro. Yeah, but like they probably talked to Magic. And got some info. Yeah, to, but that shit like it's from, a little from casting to everything. That shit was tough, nigga. I thought I was watching magic. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like it's too early to make a freaking Lob City doc of uh, a TV series. I like, mean, if they did it right, they could did it fire. Yeah, they but like ain't, they ain't talked. But like they didn't really have no freaking like substance other than Lob City. Yeah. No, I mean, no, it was it's really not about Lob City. Unless it's they about, put it, in, it's the, about David. It's about Donald Sterling. That's okay. what it's about. I thought it was gonna put in like the drama with. Chris Paul and Kim K. I thought they was gonna put oh, that nah, in. I've been nah. fire. No, nah, the, the the shit is about Donald Sterling. And the magic one, did they show him getting talk about him getting HIV? Nah. Or AIDS? That was, they did it up to his first championship. No. Oh, he did. His first loss. He didn't even win the championship that year. His first loss. Oh, really? And then that's when it was like so they, they even get they even get that far. That's crazy work. But nah, Hollywood, bro. I guess what I'm saying. I be one I have so many ideas. Like once we get to a certain point. Like in the podcast is like at a good point, good idea where I, I want to make a freaking cartoon, bro. First of all, we're not a podcast no more. We're a platform. A platform, amen. That's what I'm saying. Once we get to, once we get to the certain status or whatever, where we can do this without even thinking about it, mm-hmm. and we can just do this regardless, bro. I'm making a cartoon series, bro. Like a Go for it, anime. Bro. I'm making a comic book. Except anime, I won't watch. Why? I don't watch anime. Why not? I feel like you think because it's, it's Asian people made. I think you just don't like Asians. Look at him. Look at him. Look at me. I don't know if y'all see it. Y'all see it in 4K now. Got cuz of 4K. Look at me. He really don't like Asian people. That's crazy you work. Me, I love Asian people. I feel like you'll be good with the Asian woman. You ever been with the Asian woman? <laughs> Damn, federal. Nah, yeah, I, I got. <laughs> I haven't though. I would, that's the only one I haven't been with. Like, what do you mean Asian? Like Filipino count? I mean, duh. That's Asian. Nah, outside of Filipinos, no. What you mean? Filipinos, so you, they're, they're Asian. I'm Filipino. Yeah, I'm not really Asian, though. So you, what you mean? Yeah, I mean... Y'all of, black, for real. <laughs> hey, you hear that, people? <laughs> Filipinos, y'all black. I'm I'm really fully black, bro. They not like Asian. Like, Filipinos are cool Asians, bro. Like, I but you never, know why, though? I ain't been with no Chinese, no Japanese, yeah, I mean, like, because South Korean, you cause know? Because Filipinos are half Spanish, technically. Yeah, they look like Puerto Ricans, bro. Because we got colonized by the Spaniards, mm. and that's, See, why, that's why I don't count y'all, bro. But no, we are Asian, though. We are. We can, yeah, you can say yeah. Pacific Islander. We're we're honestly more closer to like a a, a Polynesian person than like yeah. an Asian person. Yeah, eyes not 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 not, tini- not tiny enough for me to count. Nah, it's not squinting enough. Yeah, y'all are look, my eyes cheeky? Y'all look, y'all look too much like me. Mostly, I'm y'all. saying you look Filipino because uh, no, if I bring you over to the like, family, I'm not gonna lie. Russ look Asian though. 
Like, I, I'm saying, but like you see my mom, right? Uh, my mom looks straight like Asian. Like, uh, but like you can see a Filipino and you know they not like that you know they Filipino. You know they not Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, but like there's certain like there's different like like different shades of Filipino. You know what I mean? You, Just like there's different shades of like they look Samoan, Puerto Ricans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's uh, what I said. They're they're closer to they like Polynesian Samoan, people. They look Samoan. They look Samoan with Asian eyes. Yes, that's exactly what. And without got, the curly hair, without the curly fat hair. noses though. They like, don't got no curly hair though. Oh, they don't. I don't know. They just got straight hair. But like, think about it, right? Filipinos, they got shades. Like, there's there's Filipinos that look Chinese, like my mom. But like my mom's sisters, they look Spanish. Uh huh. Like two of my mom's sisters look Spanish. That's what I'm saying I don't look Asian for real. Like that's why I said I don't. I, nah, I haven't been with one because yeah, I don't count. But I think you'll like. A, I want. You'll be good I, with the. I want Asian like, woman. I want bro. like a Chinese, a Chinese or a Japanese woman that can't see me for real. That's crazy work. They see <laughs> perfectly fine, but nah, something. Uh, I want somebody that speak Mandarin. Mandarin? Yeah. I don't think you want that. Ah, you don't know. I tell you, I think you'd be good with the Asian woman, bro. No, nah, I wouldn't. I just want to experience it. Filipino woman. There you go. Nah, I already been with a Filipino. Nah, like like that's your girl, bro. Oh damn, we you, going deep now. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> hey, but let's get out of here before we go too deep. Pause. <laughs> Speaking of pause, bro, Hollywood is up in flames now, bro. They gonna kill Diddy, bro. Hey, yo, <laughs> hey, people. They are going to kill him before he exposes everybody. <laughs> look, look, I'm saying, people, we talked about Diddy three times already, but it's gotten, gotten a lot crazier. I was saying this before. Diddy is either going to end up dead mm-hmm. or he's going to expose everybody. And the people that he's going to expose is not going to let that slide. Mm, they that's why they say he's not eating in prison. But you know he, why, though? Because they think he, he think they're trying to poison him. Yeah, bro. They, yo, I'm telling you, he's gonna Diddy is going to die, bro. Because I know the amount of shit that Diddy knows, knows is crazy. Going, he's work. going to cook him. He's gonna they're gonna cook him before he cooks everybody, bro. It's crazy work, bro. He, he's probably on the level of Epstein, bro. I was, I was just about to say, like, this is the, the craziest thing since Jeffrey Epstein. Like, this is he's the, the most on equivalent, that level, but I ain't gonna it lie. It is on though. that level, I ain't gonna lie. You got to think, it literally is on that level. Though. I don't think he did everything, bro. You don't think he did every? No, 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 no. I'm glad you said it. I don't think he did everything. I don't know. I think he did the freak offs and things, but I, mean, I, think, I think he, he did that too, I don't bro. think he's the head honcho. I think he's the little pawn. My thing is though, like, is a freak off really illegal? If you're forcing them to do it, that's like harassment. I don't think he was forcing them, bro. Like, Oh yeah, no, but not someone, but like he did have underage kids in there. Right. Like, like Epstein, like he was doing that weird stuff. And like, right. that's why, yo, you know, he had tunnels that led to the Playboy mansion. I mean, definitely. what the hell? Why the hell you got tunnels that you know what be at know. the Playboy Mansion? Is that wait? Pause. Pause this conversation. The Playboy Mansion still open? I no mean I'm not going. I just I'll go <laughs> because freaking because you know Hugh and Hugh Hefner died. Yeah, he been. But dead. yeah, but I'm just saying they I'm found sure it's still open. But they found tunnels leading to the Hugh Hefner crib, the Playboy Mansion. Why the hell you got tunnels going? Why why oh. why why? why? Oh, no, That's the bro. easy access, cuz. I I I believe the freak offs. I believe he was. I believe that he was a freak, bro. But I don't believe all this shit, bro. I, like I said I'm. I actually don't like for me. Like don't even quote me because I don't. I, I I don't do more research on this more than just the memes and laughing at it. Yeah, yeah. And the jokes and the baby oil and shit. Yeah. First of all, why you had a thousand bottles? A thousand bottles of baby oil is crazy, bro. He making sure that joint extra lubricated. But I don't think he did all this trafficking shit that everybody. No, saying. I'm telling. You, I think he was the pawn. Like he was like, bro. I think the real head honcho was like Jay Z and them, bro. Damn, like look, free Jay, bro. like think think about it like this, right? I think I, I mean, thought then Jay then he he got with Beyonce. She was 15 or 16 or something. Yeah, he bro. Was like 27. Nah, that was that was Aaliyah. That was like nah, a, Beyonce too. But Beyonce was young. Yeah, Beyonce. Yo, I, Beyonce. I just found Beyonce just turned forty. She's like 41, 42. How old is Jay Z? Uh, like 55, 56. Oh damn! So oh, but, ew. Yeah, bro. And he got. I think. I think he got with Beyonce when she was fifteen or sixteen or something like that. Or he knew her when she was fifteen or sixteen and got with her when she was seventeen, eighteen, or something like that. Yeah. No. But Beyonce young as shit, bro. Like I, know. I thought I'm thinking Beyonce. They're the same age. I'm like, yeah, Beyonce about 50, 55. No. She, like 40. she just turned 41 or 42 or some shit like that. Yeah, bro. Cardi B young too. I thought Cardi B was older shit. She like 29, 30. No, nah, I I knew she wasn't that old. She just looked old because of them black and yeah, miles. But I thought she was like 35, 40. She like 29, 38. I yeah, mean, no. 28, 29, 29, 30. 32, something shit like yeah, that. Yeah, she's I knew she I knew she wasn't that old because like she was on Instagram and all that stuff. I remember I think I heard her age. But I think she just looked old because she was like smoke them cigarettes and them black and miles. Oh no! But the thing, all right. So this is why this is why I have this is why I want to talk to you about with the Jay Z thing, right? Let me cook up for you because me and my cut shout out my cousin JJ, bro. He literally texted me this morning, 
asking asking me if we talked about Diddy, and he was mm-hmm. low key cooking up with the stuff he was telling me, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, right? I think that P Diddy, I think P Diddy is guilty for a lot of things. But I just think I don't think it was just him by himself. Like I don't think he was the head mastermind. I think he was working with like Jay Z and Beyonce and all of them, and they were like a link, and they were the ones that was running the whole industry of like the music industry, right? Uh-huh. Because I think of it as like this: there's a lot of deaths that happen in the music industry that help benefit Jay Z. Like if you look at it with, um, I remember I was watching a doc. I don't know if you ever watched that um interview with that one lady who's who Ben said that like Jay Z was the one who did all this stuff. She had like a low cut. No, I, I don't know if you ever that. seen that, but she was basically saying like, I don't know, you know, who Big L is. Yeah, I know. Big you know, L. big so Big L. She was saying Big L put Jay Z on. To like, mm-hmm. you know, when he made that first freestyle, that's how Jay-Z got put on the platform. Big L was tough. And then Big L got murdered, and then he got killed. Mm-hmm. And now Big Jay-Z is there. Big, Big L was tough. I heard he was OD. Big L was OD. Like, before his time type stuff. But like, he got he gets out of here, now Jay-Z is up. Mm-hmm. And then Tupac and Biggie. Jay-Z was with Tupac. They was making songs together. He was with Biggie. They both end up dead. Now he's at the top of the totem pole, though. I song with Tupac. They was... I think he, he didn't. I thought... No, wait. Did he make a song? I don't think he got a song with But they were They were cool though I don't know I don't Or think. he was You know he was Jay Z was cool with Biggie He was cool with Big But you know Biggie and Tupac were beefing mm-hmm. So you know People say P. D- P Diddy had Tupac killed Yeah He might have done that But I feel like Once they that happened Freaking with the Biggie situation I feel like I heard like um, Somebody told Biggie's girl at the time I think it was um, Lauren London Wasn't Lauren No not Lauren London Faith Evans Faith Evans At the time was like, yo, like before he died, like, yo, don't be with him because we're really going to kill this man. Yeah. Because at the time, the, like Jay-Z's trying to be at the top and Biggie was at the top at the time. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you know what? Let me cut him off. Now he's done. And now think about it again. Jay-Z was with R. Kelly. They used to be doing all this they stuff. Did, and then Fiesta, Fiesta. They was with R. Kelly and they was also with Aaliyah. That's when they was, they were both sleeping with Aaliyah when she was young as hell. Mm. But they didn't, nobody knew about that. But look at it now. Jay-Z met Beyonce. And then a lot of people think Jay Z had Aaliyah killed in that plane crash, and to then put Beyonce on to put Beyonce on now because now they're both at the top of the industry. Yeah. Because think about it now, the industry Jay Z and Beyonce are always at the top. Yeah. They will always forever be at the top. And then I heard something about Kanye saved Taylor Swift from being next because he says something about Taylor Swift album really not that all that, and Beyonce's was better. So now people start listening to Beyonce more uh-huh. because at the time Taylor Swift was coming up. And if she was coming up, coming next to Beyonce, she would have been out of there, bro. And it's just the amount of people that have died or have, like, been out of the loop. And I, I didn't even talk about this. I forgot. Like, there was a point when Jay-Z was by, battling Nas for, like, the top, like, yeah. rep. And then Nas randomly just started crashing out. Like, they said he, like, something happened with him mentally and he just wasn't in it no more. And now Jay-Z's uh-huh. at the top. And then, like I said with R. Kelly, "Ether's Still Crazy" is this song, one of the top top three diss songs of all time. I'm saying, and he it's like Jay, he cooked Jay Z. He was right there with them, and then randomly he just fell off. It wasn't like he just stopped making music. It's just like people say he went like I don't know if he went cuckoo. Or he just he was just acting weird. And then with R. Kelly, R. Kelly was rising up in the R and B game. Like you know, R. Kelly was everywhere, featuring mm-hmm. everything R and B. But you know, Jay Z didn't have him killed, but he. He ratted yeah. out all the stuff that man, Cuz did. Man. Oh, yeah, I know you were a freak. They got about to tell on you. Exactly. So now R. Kelly out of here. Everybody think R. Kelly crazy, whatever. Same now with Kanye West. Think about Kanye West. Kanye West he was... Cra- I don't think Jay-Z made him crazy. You don't, I don't think he was ever that crazy when we was younger, though. When nah, he was he up, was he wasn't crazy. acting like this, though. Nah, he was. You bro. think so? He used to cry. Ever since his mom died, he'd been crashing out, bro. What if they had something to do with that? That's a different story. You know what I mean? Because it's just the fact that every death, like big death in like the industry where there's like a higher up that died, benefited Jay Z. And like now he's literally at the top. Like whatever he wants goes because Rock Nation is literally the, the top of the top. Mm-hmm. Like if you sign to Rock Nation, you made it. Yeah. But like there's also a thing where people think like they're like him and Beyonce is devil worshippers and shit like that, yeah. where. I don't know about all that, but there's yeah, been they always gonna there's always gonna be those speculations, but because you we don't know. Do you think so? I I think I don't think I don't think it's all right. I don't think it, because I there th- are people that do that. I I don't think I don't know if it's devil worship, and I don't know what it like is. selling your soul because I, I just I know it is something to it that we will never see. 
I just in think, our lifetime because we're normal citizens. Mm-hmm. If them even like we don't like we're not gonna ever see it. I just think it's weird. And if we do, we're gonna be cooked. That is true. You know, I don't think that I feel like because they're so famous and so big right now that it they can they have so much control over things that we don't even know about. Mm-hmm. And it's like I, I always I remember my cousin was telling me like it, it was weird how Beyonce's childhood home burnt down on that Christmas morning, and I heard that they were there that night. Yeah, they're there. They're there that night, and like, what if they were doing some demonic stuff in there, and they like set on fire? Because like arson is a thing. Yeah. And then another time, I think another one of their cribs in Houston burnt down, and then what if they're doing the same thing in the, over there? I mean, that's kind of weird. I don't like that's a, that's a stretch. Yeah, it's a little stretch. It's a stretch, yeah. but like, I think I do think is definitely factors and shit that we don't know about, and like mm-hmm. I said, we will never know about. Yeah. Like, I don't think you get that big, not famous, and it's not like... You like, had to pull some strings? Yeah, like, it's not like, yeah, like, you just made it because you, you you there, nigga. I like, know, like, I feel like people... It's something that, like, feel me, it's always somebody bigger, feel Corruption. Me? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a mm-hmm. little corruption. It's all politics or everything in the, it's somewhere in there that's like, all right, you made it here because you had to do this and do this, do this mm-hmm. and do this, you feel me? It's, you ain't just make it here because you grind it. Like, feel me? It's not like you 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 a kingpin. You ain't making it here by being honest, nigga. You got to yeah. take, take some people out. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, that's true. So I think it, 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 there there is levels to it that we we just will never know because it's just we're normal mm-hmm. human beings. Hey, bro, if this platform get to that point, bro, and we start seeing stuff, I'm airing out everything. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm saying they were saying uh, P Diddy the Diddler, bro, but joke. Uh, the Diddler. But Jay Z the Joker for real, bro. Hey man. If they make a documentary, because like think about this, right? How is this gonna get resolved? Because P Diddy definitely gonna say something if he's still alive. Unless he just held, hold it down. But bro. like, he gonna hold it he's down. not gonna hold it down. He's gonna be in there forever. Nah, I think I think because if he dies, we know what happened. Because especially with Epstein, when Epstein died, mm-hmm. like there was no the internet wasn't that big. Mm-hmm. Now the internet's big. If they if they kill him, but no one knew who Epstein was until he died though. Yeah, because they because and they we realize all know who Diddy is. We yeah, all so know this is who R. Kelly is. So do you think this? Like, I think even with the Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby was good until he started trying. I think he tried to buy NBC or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Once he was about to start, he about to buy NBC. They was like, "Nah, you a rapist." Like, mm, feel me? so I think yeah. it is like feel me. Like, there's always a higher somebody higher that's gonna stop you from doing what you really want to do. Yeah, or like being like top dog. Like, obviously, I, I ain't saying Bill Cosby ain't do it. Like, he probably was. He definitely did it. He probably was putting Quaaludes in these bitches' drinks in the seventies. Yes, you feel me? I mean, probably did it. Most likely, did do it. All this stuff is for some horny stuff. But, I ain't gonna lie. But did he do it to everybody? I don't think so. No, probably not. Like the they're like of course, like I don't think he did it to everything. But if I think 80, he, if eighty women came out, he probably did it to ten. <laughs> this is no, no, lot. no. This is no still that, a lot. That's still a lot. I think it's maybe half. I think it was a little fiending. No, I don't think, I don't bro. Think he did you know what's crazy, bro? Women, bro? The 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 reason why the reputation is getting bad, like like say like all these people like it comes out like who's been at the free calls, whatever. Mm-hmm. All that stuff just comes from them just being horny, bro. Yeah. That's horniness really just makes your rep it, like make you look makes people into weirdos. But at the end of the like, I ain't gonna lie. If I see somebody name on the freak off, like I I'm not gonna I expect that and how I, I believe that happens, bro. Like yeah. if if I see fucking John Cena was at the freak off, I'm not gonna look at John Cena any different. I ain't gonna look at him different, but if he's doing with little kids, that's different. That's but different. I'm assuming the freak offs is with like a bunch of it's like a celebrity orgy. That's what it seems like to me. What I thought it was, what I heard it was, it was like a talent show. That's what the baby always for. The baby, oh, like it's like a, it's like Magic Mike. Oh, like that's a why they had, the, they had the the naked basketball game. Yeah, but I'm saying like it's weird and it's freaky. Yeah, but if it's not illegal, I ain't judging. Like not, if they're doing it saying. over the free will. Yeah, bro. You, I heard Cuz had IVs for him just so they don't get tired. That's man, sick. It's sick, bro. But like if 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 I came to your crib and I knew that was going on and I still came over. That's I, like, can't yeah, yeah. You can't you, mad, I can't be mad at you, bro. You can't be mad at that. Like, Jarrett, if I walk in this crib, you're like, yeah, bro, you got to take five Viagra's before you walk in. And I say, okay, and take... I can't, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, you can't, can't be, be mad at you for, for telling me to but do it. But if you drug them and then do it, but then that's different. I don't think different. he was drugging niggas, No, no, bro. he was drugging them. I don't think... Corey. Nigga, I, that, that shit would have been... Like, we would not just be hearing about that, bro. We've been, Yo, they've been saying it for years. Cat Williams said it for months. They looked Cat at him like Williams. he crazy. But you, nigga said... P. Diddy likes to party. You got to tell him no. Yeah. Nigga, I mean, you not telling him no. 
<laughs> that, yeah, that is true. <laughs> that means you not telling him no. But I also heard that he used to have his assistants walk around with fanny packs filled with drugs. And, and he might put some in. But like that's what I'm saying. Like there's some people. Saying, if it's not consensual. Like, then it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. But if I be like, yo, let's Let party. me get that. Yeah, that's and different. you say yeah. And I party with you. And then some, like, feel me? And you agree to everything that happened. Yeah, no, that's, I, that's it's weird, but it's like, still weird, but, but it's like, like it's consensual. You feel me? I can't. How I'm gonna look at you weird? Like you, you joined the freak off. Now, if it's true, like I said, I don't know. I don't. I don't know all the ins and outs of it. I don't know. I don't know anything about the case besides the memes. I just laugh at memes all day, bro. That shit is funny hilarious memes. to me. Some but if memes. he is actually have underage, he's drugging people under their will. He's forcing people. Like, like he's yeah, he deserved to go away. But I don't if I'm, I don't know. I just heard what I hear a lot of is there's people that are doing like there's people that I heard that are doing it for the like that want to do it, but they're just on DL. Or niggas I know I heard like people do it for the hey yo, suck my dick if you want a number one album. Yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah. Niggas to do it. Like nigga you Crazy chose word. to do that. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. That like but, Yeah, that is true. I don't think I don't think you get in trouble that, but like there's people that also come out said here. No. <laughs> that that is true. But there's also people out here saying that he like sexually assaulted them. That's different. Like you can't just be groping women You're or right. men. You can't do that. I don't. I said I don't. I, yeah, no. I don't. I ain't hear about all that. I don't know, bro. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I know the one Nick. The one comedy comic said he was like, I forget his name, but he was like, yeah, for my first Netflix special, my my first Netflix special, I had to get my dick sucked by a man. Huh. That's what he said. He said, "Yes, yeah, what he said." He was like, "For my like, in order for me to get my first comedy special, I had to get my dick sucked by a man, and I did it." And I got my first comedy special after that. Nigga, you said yes to that, bro. I would never do that. I don't care. I don't want to be that. That's why I, I, I like YouTube. I don't want to be in Hollywood. What you looking like that for? You good? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? No, I'm I ain't joking. Do, I'm joking. I'm I ain't joking. doing hell no. I'm joking. That's crazy work, bro. Nah, but like a lot of people been saying this for a minute, though. I, okay. I mean, 50 Sip been saying it for years. I want to say this. You feel me? We all seen the interviews. Oh, why you never party with me? I like when you scrape. Like, we all seen it. The nigga is a freak, bro. I know. I could just... Nah, imagine Diddy on that. Because he say daddy a lot. He do say daddy a lot. He do say... He do throw that word out frequently. The nigga changed his name to love. The nigga said, why are you changing that? I can't tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> For nigga years, is a we, freak, bro. He's bad. I ain't gonna lie. I be... I'm not gonna say it on here. Because I, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say it on here. Because... That's a that's a touchy subject. Yeah, ain't no party like a Diddy party, bro. Hey, amen. But I say amen. Hey, hey, bro. But it's like Diddy is going to jail for a long time. Definitely, he's, he's going to jail for a long time. He's doing R. Kelly numbers. But now, what we're gonna look at is who is he taking down with him? Is he gonna take down people? Is he gonna end up dead? I feel like these people are like frantically trying to figure out what to do with Cuz. Yeah, if he wanted to, if, if they needed bro to get off the chessboard, he'll get off the chessboard. That's true. Jail ain't, jail ain't stopping shit. That's true, if bro. He need, if he needs to die, he's going to die. Yeah. Jail ain't stopping a damn thing. Mm-hmm. That is true. That is true, bro. I ain't going to lie. That would, be a, that would be a fire documentary. I don't, I don't, I don't watch none of them shit, though. You don't like documentaries? Survive, I'm talking about like the Surviving R. Kelly's, the Michael Jackson shit, the Bill Cosby. I don't watch them. Not shit, that, but like if they make like a this, movie based on that. I mean, it, that'd I be kind of cool. I probably wouldn't watch it. I ain't gonna lie. Really? Like, a, like what if it's like a TV show series where like it's like a rapper just killing niggas and just to be get to the top? Oh, like a oh, you talking about like, like a concept of it? Yeah, the oh, concept. Yeah, 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 not yeah, like not that. like based on t- like Diddy. Yeah, I'm saying, but we got like a, a a Diddy documentary. I ain't watching it. Yeah. I watched I I watched the first half of the, the Vince McMahon documentary and I turned it off. I said they're not gonna make me hate you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was and, going on? Wait, what's the thing? Was man, Vince? Man, they go weird though. Okay, I don't care, I don't care bro. Like you not they not gonna make me hate you, bro. Nigga, I watched you fight God. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro I remember This is the greatest of all time You, They not gonna tell me otherwise bro Would you say that about R. Kelly? He's the greatest singer of all time Top three for sure That's in the name of love R, Like you wanna talk about R- R&B singers nigga He's top He's top three Top two Michael Jackson R. Kelly Michael Jackson's pop I don't even put him in R&B Nigga singers I, I would say singers He's a top He's a top three singer Of all time I ain't stepping in the name of love He was stepping in the name of love But in different directions R. Kelly got hits bro I still Robert is a monster R. Kelly though <laughs> That nigga different bro <laughs> Robert Syl- Sylvester Sylvester Kelly uh, I can't I ain't, rock. That ain't me That ain't I my man I can't rock with you bro You weird I ain't my brother But 
R. Kelly, nigga, nigga that made Trapped in the Closet, nigga. That I ain't gonna lie, that YouTube series was fire. Nigga, he was about genius. R. Kelly made. Ba- Let me say what you want about him, bro. Amen. Say say what you want, but if you want to talk about his career and his catalog, bro. Yeah. He's he's on the he's on the Mount Rushmore. I ain't mad at you. Fight, fight, fight with your mama. Don't fight with me, bro. I ain't mad at you, bro. R. Kelly made hits. Mm. Hey, man. He, I ain't, he was hitting. I've other, been saying he was it. hitting other things that feel me that made we came valid. T- yep, we but can't we talk, talk about, about that. his music career, bro. Argue with your mama. He's on the <laughs> he's on the mushroom. He's top two. He might not be two. I respect it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love I listen to R. Kelly. But before we get even worse than that, I got commercial for y'all people. So tune in. We'll be right back. Prize Picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize Picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries, less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS at sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. We're back. We're back. Thank y'all for the commercial. So before we go again, of course, since we're talking about celebrities, mm-hmm. I have a blind ranking I like blind question ranking for you. So it's blind ranking celebrities you can beat in a fight. Oh, right. so what I did to you last week? Yep. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... First name up, we got Shannon Sharp. We got Unk. Unk? We got Unk, bro. Unk could tackle me. Unk going to beat your ass. That guy yeah. is huge. So five is he going to beat your ass. One is like he uh-huh. cooked. I'm going to put Unk at three. Unk at three? I don't think you going to. I think you going to throw some curveballs at me. You think so? Yeah, I'm going to put Unk at three. Okay, okay. Number two, R. Kelly. Since we, we was like talking about R. I'll Kelly. I'll beat the shit out of R. Kelly. Give me number one. Number one? I'll beat the shit out of R. Kelly. Okay. Are you Okay. Nah, number two, number two, number two, number two, number two. You sure? Can I chase Unk? Can I put Unk, Unk four? Nah, you already put him at three. Ah, uh, yeah, R. Kelly number two. Bro. All right, because number three we got Justin Bieber. I'm beating the, number one. I'm beating. The, I'm beating the dog shit. Out, out of <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, okay. I'm beating the dog shit out of Bees, bro. Number four we got Speed. Damn, Speed pretty athletic though. He is and pretty unpredictable. He's not gonna beat. I, can I, I come on. I said that before we got here. What? I guess I gotta put speed at four. Cause I just think speed, like you gonna hit him, you like you gonna yeah. start bright, you're not gonna feel that. I think that's an act, bro. I hit speed, I hit speed for real. I think it's falling, bro. <laughs> okay. I wanna put Unk at four now, bro. Okay. But you got him at three. So so what you got so far is at one you have Justin Bieber. Being the dog shot of Justin Bieber. Two, you have R. Kelly. Being the dog shot of R. Kelly. Three, you have Shannon Sharp. He gonna fuck me up. Four, you have speed. I don't, and at that's number a dog fight. At number five. At the last person, you have Stone Cold Steve Austin. I like that. I like Stone. I like Stone Cold at five. That's cool. But if you would have said Unk at like four, four Speed at three. I wish you would let me switch it. You ain't let me switch it. No, nah, you bro. can't. It's blind ranking, bro. But I yeah, all right. <laughs> I got there before we got. You feel me? Bro? That was cool. He was close. That was good. That's a good yeah, list though. I like it, bro. I like it. Cause Speed might not feel no pain. I might. I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I like my list, bro. That's I cool. That's it, cool. Bro. That's cool. But. Actually, I got a I got a story to talk to you about, Corey. Cause I remember we was talking about documentaries and stuff, and there was a movie that came out. I forgot what it was called. I think it was something about a bandit, but it was based on a true story. So, have you ever heard of the barefooted bandit? The barefoot bandit. Uh-uh. So it was basically, basically, it was a kid in the early '90s that was a 16 year old kid who who was on the run from the FBI for three years. Uh huh. Wait. I did hear. I don't know. I, I I can't tell you the story. I know the story. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched uh, like, Ray, Ray William Johnson talk about. Oh, it. really? So basically, right? His name was what was his name? His name was Colt. His name was Colton Moore. His name was Colton Moore, and he lived in Washington. Mm-hmm. And like, 
I remember his mom. Uh, they said his mom was like not really like they weren't really good parents. His dad used to beat him, and his mom used to never bring food home, so he used to be starving. Mm-hmm. So I guess one day he decided yeah, to run away from home, and he would live in the woods. Yeah. But what he would do is he would freaking go into other people's cribs and steal food, and he'll steal like like food, electronic. He would be just stealing stuff mm-hmm. like around the neighborhood. And then there was a time where the cops went into the woods to go find him because he started tweaking like he was stealing too much stuff. And then there was. Um, they found his tent and what they found is they found electronics, jewelry, food, and more money, mm-hmm. but they never found him. Like they searched the whole woods, but the whole time cuz was in the back, like in a tree or something, watching their every move. Mm-hmm. And I guess they gave him, they told him, I was like, yo, like we have a couple days to like turn yourself in. Like if you turn yourself in now, we'll give you $10,000. But he was like, man, F all that. He decided to write a note and drop it off at his mom's house. He's like, Hey mom. The cops think this is a game. Like, I'm really, like, this is really war for real. So what he did was, Cuz was stealing everything, bro. Cuz was stealing cars. He was stealing electronics. He was stealing money from people. Like, he had over a hundred, like, thefts in the, like, the northwest of the United States. Like, Washington, Idaho. All with no shoes at 16 years old, bro. Just stealing people's stuff. He got so good at that, he started stealing planes. Mm-hmm. Cuz stole yep. a... Bro, that's what uh, that's what. Yep, he C- did. Cuz stole a plane, and he said he learned how to fly because he w- he learned from video games. Mm-hmm. So he stole a little plane, and he took that plane all the way to the Bahamas, and he crashed the plane, and he fa- he hijacked the boat, and then he hijacked the boat, and he went over to like a little yacht party in the Bahamas, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yo, call the cops." He's like, "They was like, why?" He was like, "Cause I don't know if y'all heard, there's a kid that stole a plane." He's like, "Yeah, we heard a kid." He said he stole the plane, landed in the bomb. He said, yeah, I'm that kid. I just stole this boat. Now go call the cops on me. And they call, and then he just skirted off. And they called the cops. And I think a couple of days later, he got caught by the bah- bah- Bohemian like police or whatever. And he got sent to, um, they got they sent him back to the USA. And I think he only got seven years in jail for like yeah, well, all the robberies and stuff. Only that? Yeah, but I mean, he didn't kill nobody. Like he was oh, honestly, man. he was honestly like, like. I wish I remembered the story because, like, yeah, he was on. He was like a Robin Hood, this. honestly. Like, he was just really just. He wasn't really hurting people. He mm-hmm. was just stealing stuff. And he actually he's out of prison now. Like this, had, like he got out. I think like two thousand like fourteen or whatever. Is he living an honest life? Yeah, now? he's living, he's cool. Like he like I think he been he went on a podcast. He like talked about it. Like I ain't gonna lie. If Joe Rogan had that dude on a podcast, I'd be fired because he yeah. lived. He was really living real life GTA, bro. Yeah, no, that's tough. Think about it. Cuz is at sixteen. And that's even tough because he ain't kill nobody. He ain't like, kill nobody. He ain't hurt nobody, bro. He hijacked a plane. He hijacked boats. He hijacked cars. Like he literally, like I remember, he hijacked the BMW at sixteen, mm-hmm. no shoes, and the cops seen him because he was just driving like a dickhead, just driving around, and he was out able to outrun the cops, and then he hopped out the whip when he got to his woods and ran into the woods. And they couldn't find him. That's tough. Just imagine the U.S. the FBI couldn't find him for three years, bro. A sixteen-year-old. And he just basically turned himself in. And he just basically turned himself in. He's just like, you know, I don't care. Like, it's what it, it is. What it is. And like, I think he passed by like a, a animal rescue shelter, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he dropped off like a couple thousand dollars. And he put a note. He's like, hey, I just seen you guys like as an animal rescue place. He's like, give this money to the, like the animals and stuff to help him out. That's tough. He was a nice dude. With, I fuck with that. Story. Like he was like that was he just lived like a movie, bro. That's a fire that's, ass. That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Do it again, bro. I, hey, bro. <laughs> if somebody else doing that, that'd be tough, bro. Cuz we're really on the run from the FBI for all them years, bro. But just imagine. I don't think... Like, if you was on the run from the FBI, how long will it take you for them to find you? How serious am I? Like, what I do? Well, we'll say you did, like, um, robberies. Like, a lot of robberies. And they though. looking for me? Yeah, they and looking they for me. know me? Yeah, they know you. Like your face is on the the poster. Nah, I'm getting caught soon. You getting caught soon? I'm not doing all that hiding and shit. Really? Yeah. Cause he was like playing with them. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nah. Like if they don't know who I am, I, don't, I think I'm, I think I'm under you, the radar. Yeah. But once they get my face, yeah, it's over. But I'm gonna just be like. I'm so you you're just not even gonna try? Yeah, cause now it's it's too tedious. Yeah, and you always gotta look over your shoulder and stuff. Yeah, it's too like feel me. Just come get me. Get would me. you even try to like leave the country? Like, would that be in your mind? Yeah, I would try. But I don't think I don't. I don't know you me. Want, I don't have no resource. I don't like if I had to leave the country right now and flee. I don't know how to. I'm do going it. to the Philippines. Yeah, but how you gonna do it though? Get me on that plane. Get me on that boat. I don't know. Yeah, see, I, that's too far though. Now going through the Pacific, I'm dead. You yeah, just come get me, bro. Go get you. Cause like I don't know if you ever watched that TV show. It was on um True TV or MTV. It was called uh, How I Almost Got Away. Have you ever heard that show? Nah. So it was basically. A I used to t- watch a lot of those shows too. You know, oh, like shows like that. Well, like, like yeah. It was. It's basically a show about how people like who escape prison, how they live their life, and how they almost got away with it. Yeah. So like it was like so like they, I remember there was a guy 
who like he was out of prison for like 10, 15 years. He changed his name, whatever. Like he escaped prison, like through like the yard or whatever, like climbed over the fence and was out Mm -hmm. and he moved to a different state, changed his name, whatever. But there was just one day he was outside walking by himself. Like he had a whole new life, had a, 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 a wife, kids, all that stuff. Never told him about it. And there was just one day he was just randomly walking and a cop looked at him. He's like, what's your name? You look familiar. He was like, oh, my name is this, that, third. He said, like, okay, bet. And then he looked at him and then the cops started, stalk- like, they, they were stalking him. Now they know where he's at and he arrested him, bro. Damn. Yeah. Literally just one mistake. Like, literally just, like, they like they be thinking they're home free, bro. You didn't, just, if you didn't go outside that. You day, didn't go you outside that cool. one day, you've been go home free. But that's why I be thinking. There's a lot of people that probably didn't get caught. Mm-hmm. That's still out there, like, um, being like either hidden. Like I think a lot of them live in like the like the mountains and stuff, like off the grid. Yeah. Or a lot of them probably just change their name and just not doing stuff, just being very low key about it. But like I know because I remember a lot of them. A lot of them were like murderers and stuff, mm-hmm. like either accidental murderers or they really like kill people. Like it was a really good show. I ain't gonna lie. There was like a lot of like episodes where I didn't know. I didn't know people really I escaped. That. I didn't know people really escaped prison that often. <laughs> like that's how much like people were really escaping, bro. I might, I might do that. It's pretty cool. It's, it's how I almost got away with it. That's what it's called. Yeah, I might check that out. It was cool. It was cool. It was a cool show. I think you, I think you'll be very interested in it, bro. But, core, I got a lot of, I got some hypothetical questions for you, brother. Ask you got, me, and I'm ready for it. Do you have anything you want to talk about before I get into? Or no, I get into it. You good? I don't want to get into that. <laughs> but okay, so Corey, I have a would you rather question for you. So would you rather get paid for every bad deed that you do? So say. You take money from a kid that's like five dollars, or mm-hmm. if you like push a kid on the ground that's like twenty. Like the worse, the worse the deed, the more money you get. Or would you rather not have to follow any laws in the world? Like yeah. any laws in the world does not pertain to you, but anybody could do something bad to you, and you can't call the police for help. Like you get no justice, and everybody know that. I want to say like it's not like out there like a picture of you, but like if somebody sees you like steal something, they could be like, oh. He just stole that. Like they try to snitch on him. Like mm-hmm. nah, he can't. Like he he's he's good. Like he green. Like the guy's gonna say like you good. Uh huh. Like that. It's like that. It's not like out there, out there. But it's like like people that, like have a gist of like they understand. Like they know you because especially yeah. you're probably out there like stealing. Like it's not like they're hunting you down. But I'm saying so like, do they know that they could do do it back to me and I can't say nothing back? Yeah, they know that. So like, everybody just know that. Yeah, they just know it's like you like all these like, they're like all the laws do not pertain to you. And they and all the laws could be done to you, but I'm saying that's known. Yeah. Damn, like niggas is just gonna come get me, bro. But it's like they could come get you, but like for what? Like you're not rich. This doesn't make you freaking filthy rich unless you want to try to rob a bank. Like if you try to rob a bank, it's not like you can't get killed over that. Like they can still kill you for doing like robbing a bank. It's not like you. It's not like you go into a bank and they be like, oh, actually no. If you, you know, if you do a height, if you ask niggas for money or like you say you walk into the back of the bank, you could take bread. Yeah. But like how much money can you really get from that? I actually, no, you can really run it up if you yeah. do fraud. Or if I just do a, or the Brinks trucks. Yeah. Or if I just follow the Brinks trucks to just take the money or I just wait. Oh, 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 even better. Yeah. What if I just get into like the, the company yeah. and work for them and they just steal the money? Mm. Bro, you know how much money they carry a day? That is true. One truck, I'm fine. That yeah. is true. I still do. I I I don't think I I think I will pick no laws pertain to me. Me too. I I just I just follow the law still. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I'm still gonna I'm gonna be very low key. This is what I'm gonna do though. The bad the 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 things I'm gonna break is I'm gonna go to grocery stores and like take food. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take all the food from the grocery stores. Like if I go to like like go out to dinner or whatever, I'm not gonna pay for nothing. So I'm gonna yeah. get free food. And then on top of that, I'm gonna like resell a lot of things that I take from like stores like yeah, Costco. I'll do, yeah, I'll do something simple. I don't want to. I'm I, not gonna be doing heists and stuff. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to be on the radar. Like, yeah, nah. This nigga is wilding. Yeah, and he, yeah. And he getting away with it. Ain't getting pranked. Now and now they like people. Somebody gonna see me like, oh yo, like yo, I just I already I seen you rob the bank. Come mm-hmm. here. Yeah. You know what like, let me get your bird. Like, where yeah. your money at? Yeah, I don't think I'm like. Or like, even want to just kill me? Like, yeah. Like yeah, nah, I'm cool. I don't want to feel me. So I'll just be, I'll just be low key. I might not even do nothing wrong for real. Like I might just, like I said, little, little petty stuff. Like that's cool. Or like if anything, I'll just like run an underground like fraud, like feel fraud me? scheme. Yeah, like what do what the people did with like the Chase banks? Yeah, but like feel me and like like but my name's not plastered. Like it's just yeah, so yeah. It's just, and if we get caught, it's your company though. Yeah, but if, and if we get caught, I'm like, all right, you know, I, I'm mean? not getting in trouble. Y'all get in trouble. Yeah, that's good. I like the idea because like. If like with the D's, I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to push no kids yeah, on the ground. Like, and it's like, I, like say if I like 
like rob someplace, like, I can still get arrested for you know that. I'm saying I can still get arrested, like, even if I get caught, even though it was a bad deed. Yeah. So yeah, not nah, yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, okay. I got a, I got another question for you. So, so say you get a million dollars, right? Mm-hmm. Say you want a million dollars from the lottery, scratch off lottery, or like you place a place a bet with something. You place a bet with Prize Picks, and you want a million dollars. Use code entry, No Regulars. Entry. Oh, you place a you place an entry with Prize Picks. Use code No Regulars for all your entries with Prize Picks, and you win a million dollars, right? Yeah. But exactly that same time, your mom contracted something in her eye where she needs surgery to save her left eye, or she will go. She will lose that left eye, and that surgery costs. Nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or nine hundred, nine hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. I only got twenty-five thousand. So left. you only have twenty-five thousand left. Would my, you? My mom about to be fifty. She don't need her left eye no more. You will. You you won't, you won't pay for the thing. Nah, I pay for her best prosthetic ever. <laughs> they'll never know she don't got an eye. Really? My mom about to be fifty. She don't need her left eye no more. <laughs> she, lived, she lived fifty years with, with with two eyes. Was she like? She could do the rest the, the next forty without. You think it would be selfish for her? To very selfish <laughs> what you mean I gotta pay like nice. so we just got rich and now I gotta give you I gotta give all my money like we gonna we just got rich to get end up with 25,000 I know you gonna use and that for just, freaking college loans bro and, and, and you just and you just had surgery who said this eye not gonna go bad again like we mm. not, now we just wasted our money <laughs> yeah you don't need you don't need two eyes bro I'll, I'll buy you ma ma I'll buy you the breast prosthetic no one would know you got one eye the bro. coolest eye ever bro nah not even the coolest the realest eye ever no one would know that you have one eye bro trust me like you are not getting you get it made by Elon Musk himself I don't know who I gotta do it by but you'll have a prosthetic eye but you are not getting that money I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> hey bro I ain't gonna lie I feel like with my mom I think like I would just feel so bad cause my mom already is kinda blind but mom if you watching this she uh, probably hear you. She is nah. She sleep. <laughs> I think she would want. I think she would not want to pay. Want me to pay for it. Like I would try to, but I think my mom would be like, nah, nah. I'll be okay. Now let's say like you said, like, like you said, like you have a sister. I don't have a sister, so I yeah. can't compare that. Like I don't want. Like if I had like a sister that like was younger. like twenty. Oh, 15. like she's living that life with that. Um, yeah, that, that's you just you now you gotta live the rest of your life. But like my mom about to be fifty. You lived a good life with without like, two eyes, bro. You not, don't need. A, you don't need you don't need two eyes for the rest of your life. I'm sorry, like yeah. you feel me? Like you good, like feel me? That's funny as hell. Like we we gonna get the best prosthetic. It might cost feel me that twenty five thousand. That's where you are gonna get a good prosthetic. Yeah, you're not getting that nine hundred ninety five k. I'm sorry. Hey, real hey you. That's real real shit, bro. And hey, listen, I'm a, and I'm gonna give you half. Invest it in the business, bro. Don't make don't don't make your eye go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> Cause crazy. You Cause. lost that eye for a reason. Let's feel me. Let's let's run it up. <laughs> hey yo bro okay that was i like that answer though. that was cool that was cool it's just you know there's always those questions like i love hypothetical questions but i be listening all the time especially other podcasts because it'd be making me think bro because there'd be something there might be somebody that be, nah there's, there can't be nobody going through this, them same situations but i actually have i want to i want to do this little hypothetical thing that i seen somebody doing tiktok i think it's pro- kind of cool Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do people. You can play along. So we're basically gonna go levels of like fighting. Okay. So it's like this is the first level of fighting. Every episode, I'm gonna come up with something different of fighting. So this one, in particular, so it's would you rather fight ten ten year olds to the death, or fight a teenage gorilla to the death? Here are the stipulations, though. With the ten year olds, they are the best athletes in their class. So they're the most athletic 10 year olds. So they're the ones in gym class that be running miles in six minutes, Mm -hmm. strong ass kids, whatever things of that nature. And they are equipped with pencils and safety scissors and you don't have nothing. You're just in a a regular classroom. Right. And the gorilla is a teenage gorilla. He's not fully grown. He's not super young, but he's like in the middle, but he's still stronger than the average human. But you are equipped with a baseball bat and a helmet. Which one are you choosing? The gorilla. You're choosing the gorilla? Yeah, that's easy. Why is that easy? First of all, I'm going to I'm going to try to break my bat. Oh, first of all, turn the, it into a spear. Uh-huh. I'm going to stab the gorilla and it's going to die. Mm. Because What well, if you can't wait, first of all, what if you can't break the You know, a wooden bat's hard to break. I right. um some somehow my weapon's going to be useful. Yes. Because gorillas are pussies. No, but th- in this scenario, like he's actually trying to kill you. That's fine. He's still a pussy. <laughs> so you're gonna go beat that. He's gr- built like me for real, like a gorilla, and like y'all gonna cook me because like I know yeah, gorilla's a gorilla. Yeah, at the end of the day, 
a gorilla is built like me, bro. His skin is thin. I'm going to find some. I'm going to break this bat somehow, and I'm going to stab him in the heart, and he's going to die. I think I can survive with them 10 year olds. I'm not going to lie. They have scissors, bro. Safety care. scissors. Them Shit. things don't stab you. Them things are literally curved like, like your finger, like this. Yeah, but they're still a blade. That's not really. No, you literally can't cut nothing with that. Yes, you Barely. Can. Like, unless like, you, they go like this. I'm yeah. going to get cut up. I'm going to get cut up. Like, the same way you're going to get bit up with the, with the gorilla. You literally said it's 10 of them. Ten, yeah. 10 year olds are jumping you. Okay, I can. It's yo, not wavelength. Like I'm taking out one at a time. Yeah, no, 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 no. I can still like. No, you're not. I think I could beat them up, like no, a not. couple of them. They, bro, get a couple of them. They not big. You going? You seen them ten? Okay, I'm not gonna bring that up. But like, <laughs> you know, you know where we worked at. Yeah, bro. Like you could just pick up a couple, throw them, kick, cuz punch. If I punch one in the face, he's still a kid. Yeah, but he's like it's ten of them. You said they're they're better, they're best athletes, so most likely they're they're bigger. Okay, they're bigger, but it's not like not all of them are gonna be super they big. They're still ten year olds. It's not like a Wemby. They're not Wemby. They have pencils. Okay, I can take a pencil. Nah, nah, you're not doing that because they're gonna try to kill you, so they're gonna stab you in the places where it hurt. Oh my, my nuts! I was gonna say your eye, but you freaky, <laughs> yo, you diddler over here. I was, <laughs> I was talking about like your eyes and your ears and your butt and shit. So you think you can survive that gorilla, bro? No, I don't think. Cuss it, but hey, yo, I don't think I can survive the gorilla. But like, I think you I rather have, the gorilla. I think I have a better chance with the gorilla than the ten year olds, especially because the ten year olds could think. Let me see a pic. This is a teenage gorilla. That thing's still pretty big. He's big as shit. But like, look at that nigga's face, bro. What that mean? He looks oh, he like, like an Asian person. You uh, look like an Asian guy. I I didn't say it yet. Yeah, I knew. I, I beat you to it. I don't want you to be racist. I'm Asian. How big is... For, oh, wait. For, no, that's Juvenile. Never mind. I don't know. Maybe Juvenile is a teenager, no? Nah, Juvenile is like, like baby. Like, you try to... Like, mm-hmm. I, I know my animals too, but I want to be mm-hmm. a zoologist. I want to be a you zoologist. Ain't play, you ain't play art, bro. I, I want to play art. I've been seeing you gameplay. Say? You better say fuck art. No, no, no. no. Uh-huh. I was. And I seen some gameplay. It looked kind of fun. I, Come I be, on, let's do it. You, come on. Let's we can do fuck, a video. I'll do a video. Fuck 2K, nigga. Let's <laughs> art, nigga. I'll buy it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, cause I was seeing gameplay. I don't know if you ever seen the gameplay where the guy's like, he like shoots the t- the, the T-Rex and he's yeah. just running back. He sees the T-Rex coming up it's and that's kind of funny. bro. It's fun. Come on, fuck. Yo, fuck 2K, nigga. Let's <laughs> play art, bro. Hey, if y'all want us to play art, Put it down in the comments Yo, below, bro. Up. If you want us to play Ark and you have Ark and you want to join our tribe, nigga, come on. Join bro. our Discord. Link in the bio. Yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? Tribe, no regulars, bro. Yep. Let's let's do it. Bro. Nah, but I'm an Ark expertise. Do they have Ark on PC? Yeah. Most people play it on PC. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I might play it. Is it cheaper on PC or is it still 60? I don't know, but if you have it on PC, I can't play with you. I got a PlayStation. Oh, you can't? Oh, it's, it's not. not cross-play, oh, man. dang. I thought it was crossplay. Nah. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll look. We'll look into it. Fuck two K, nigga. We on arc. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see. We'll see. I'll buy it for you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, okay, bro. We'll see. We'll see how it That's goes. Not because I got money. It's because that shit cheap right now. <laughs> how much is it? It's like ten dollars right now. Ten dollars? Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, Corey been wanting somebody to play Ark with for a while. If y'all know, if y'all really OGs, y'all know Corey was playing Ark for a minute. I've been playing Ark since COVID. Yeah, cause it was really the only one playing Ark, bro. With uh, what's that guy's name? J. Rob and his pops. It J- was Shark Boy and Cringe Gaming. Cringe Gaming. I wonder if I wonder how they're doing right now. But Corey, for the last thing that we do before we end the podcast, I have built the starting five to protect you in a zombie apocalypse, and these are basically all random people. All right. Bro. All right. Oh, we'll put over, put up a little bit. There you go. There you go. You know how I get when you throw a woman into this. I'm always choosing them. All right, bro. But let's go. So basically how it's going to be, like I said, there's five There's five rounds and there's five people each round. You just got to pick which person it is in each round. All right. All right. So round number one, we have Iron Man, the professor. You know who the professor is? The basketball player. No, the professor. Have you ever watched um, Money Heist? No. Okay. Not the professor. It's the, uh, the professor, the basketball player. Yes. All right. So you got Iron Man, the professor, Billie Eilish, John Cena, and Scooby Doo. Who are you choosing? <laughs> I told you it's really random. I'm gonna go for an angle, and, ho- and, I, and I hope it works. Okay. Billie Eilish. Cause it's, we know what you know what that means. Shout out Jason J. Hey J. <laughs> J. J. Robs, bro. Y'all, y'all know. Okay. So. You got Billy Eyes round one. Round two, we got Dwight Howard, 
Uh, Tyron Lannister, the, the little dude. Oh, okay. T- Tywin. Tyron. I don't know how to say his name. Yeah, I didn't watch, watch Game of Thrones. Thrones. Sorry. Cooking me. Watch Money Heist. Serena Williams, mm-hmm. Harry Potter, or Albert Einstein? Serena Williams. Are you good? <laughs> Are you okay? I, no, I mean, you can pick Serena, but I'm just going to judge you. You picking Serena Williams? Picking Serena Williams. Okay. Serena Williams. Interesting. She is brolic. She can help you move stuff. Yeah. And she's a good athlete. Exactly. I understand. There we go. Now, uh, what's it called? Level three. We got D Rose, Jessica Alba, Cyclops, like cook. Cyclops from X Men, Undertaker, or Tyreek Hill. You cooked me. I did. Jessica Alba. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> now, nah, let me start over. I'm playing around. I'm playing around. Let me start you over. You want to start over? Yeah, yeah, let me start over. Okay. I'm playing around. People, we're going to do that one more time. <laughs> I'm playing around. I'm playing around. <laughs> Corey didn't want to do that again. I was being horny. All right, let me turn it. Let let's let's, let's let rewind that. Let's rewind let that. Be for real. Let me be for real. So, the first, so round number one, we got Iron Man, the Professor, uh-huh. Billy Eilish, John Cena, Scooby Doo. Who are you choosing? Uh, you can still pick Billy Eilish, bro. Nah, I really didn't want to. I was just being. I was. I was going to pick all women. Um, damn. I want John Cena. You go pick John Cena. I, I I know Iron Man. Nah. Yeah, I want John Cena. Is it Prime John Cena or John Cena? Prime John Cena. I want John Cena. Okay, okay. Now, round number two. We got Dwight Howard. Hmm. What's his name? Tyron? Tywin. Tywin Lannister. Mm -hmm. Serena Williams, Harry Potter, or Albert Einstein? So, Tywin Lannister, know how it is to beat some zombies. Mm Mm-hmm. Going with Tywin. You going with that little guy? I need need the little little, little guy, yeah. Okay. I need the dwarf. Okay, okay. So, you got John Cena and you got Tywin. Mm -hmm. Now... Level three, we got D Rose, Jessica Alba, Cyclops from X Men, mm-hmm. Undertaker, or Tyreek Hill. D Rose, D Rose, D Rose. We already knew that was going. I don't care. He he, he was not. He, you already know what he was going to do. All right, level four, we got Sexy Red, Cam- Camilla Harris, <laughs> Shannon Sharp, Jay Shay, Chief Keef, and Anthony Edwards. I'm a I'm gonna go uh Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards, you need an athlete in there? Yeah, I mean I got an athlete. I got D Rose, D Rose, D Rose. But I think Anthony Anthony Edwards, it's not prime D Rose though, it's D Rose, oh, D Rose, D-Rose now. now. So it's mellow. So you got good vibes. Yeah. You got good vibes. And then Anthony Edwards, he cool dude, make you laugh. He's funny as hell. I think you go crazy like a zombie apocalypse. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. That would be kind of funny. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not choosing this. I'm not choosing this to survive. I'm choosing this to live comfortably. Bro. Live comfortably until you die off. Yeah. That would be hard. They should make. You know how they made like a that, that Fifty Cent that G Unit game. Mm-hmm. They should make like a like a game like that, but like with celebrities and like a zombie apocalypse. I think that'd be kind of fire. Make it. Hey, don't steal our idea, people. I got so many ideas on this podcast. Y'all, y'all, will, where would y'all be without me? And the last group we got Megatron, not not Calvin Johnson, actual yeah. Megatron, Walter White. Leonardo DiCaprio, Jesus Shuttlesworth, and Deadpool. Damn. You had me. And then you said the pool. Yep. I think I want to go Walter White. <laughs> now nah, he was a fucked up person for real. I just like the show. I'm going with Deadpool. Deadpool? I really want to go Walter White though. But he's he's a fucked up. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna kill me or get me killed or manipulate me in a way to get killed. Yeah, I'm going with Deadpool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I was going to say you could have picked Megatron, but like Megatron's a bad guy. So like, because a zombie, if a zombie by Megatron, he's not going to turn to a zombie. But like at the same time, he might not help you. Yeah, he, he might, might just dip on you. Or not help the zombie. He might like, if y'all in a fight, he might just dip out, turn into a freaking helicopter and dip. Or he might try to like turn the zombies to get on his side. Yeah. And like rule the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is the line at the starting five you have, Corey. So you have John Cena. Mm-hmm. Tywin Lannister, mm-hmm. D Rose, mm-hmm. Anthony Edwards, and Deadpool. I like that. I think I should have chose Tony Stark, but I like that lineup. I, I think it's very versatile with athletes, and you have you have very good personal personalities in there. I mean, like I said, I'm not living for uh, I'm not living for uh, the long for, for, to for survival. I'm, yeah, I'm not living for survival. You're being I'm comfortable. For the good vibes. Yeah, I ain't gonna have some good vibes right there. You got Anthony Edwards making jokes and Deadpool. Imagine yeah. y'all running away from zombies like, buddy, little bitch, that nigga. Boo. And Anthony Edwards shooting wish, that junk sideways. I wish Jessica Album was in a different group. You would pick she, Jessica Album. She was getting chosen. Dang, I knew I did. I picked out the right one. I knew it. But she not over D Rose. I was talking about Jessica Album from the Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. 
Yeah, nah. I wish she was in a different group, but it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is, what it is. Like I said, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Bro. Ah, respect, respect. You know I mean? If I was here for a long time, Jessica. Are, I already know what yeah, you're saying. Pick, bro. I already know what you're saying. But Corey, you got anything else before we end the podcast? Any last words and or regret, regrets? Regrets. Regrets. Um. Yeah. Shout out to D Rose, man. I'm gonna miss you, kid. Kid. I'm, I'm gonna miss you, God. Uh, D God, pause. You feel me, huh? I said D God. Oh yeah, I don't know what he talking about. <laughs> uh, shout out to let me stop. I said shout out to Diddy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, nah, man. You feel me? No regular podcast. We about to start this Discord back up. Like we yep. say it every time, but we mean it this time. Mm -hmm. So if y'all watching, if y'all made it to the end, um, join the Discord, and we're gonna be more active in there, bro. You feel me? We're gonna start doing calls. We're gonna start doing. We're gonna start talking to y'all more. So. Join the Discord. I didn't even look in. I, I didn't look in the camera. That's how you know I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, we, but join the Discord, guys, because yeah. we're gonna uh, we're gonna be more active. We're gonna start talking to you guys a little more. Mm -hmm. So you join the Discord because we're gonna we have some things in store, some things planned that we want to do with y'all. We got a lot of exciting things, people. A lot of exciting things. It's, it's the spooky month, so we got a lot of haunted things so we're coming up. Get real spooky. You never know. Ain't no party like a Darius party. You know what I'm saying? I, shoot, we never know what's happening, but. If you, party. <laughs> if you want more content, party. If you like, if you if you want more content other than podcasts, subscribe to our Patreon. So we're gonna it's at No Regulars Podcast on Patreon. Subscribe. We got three dollars tiers, five dollars tiers, and ten dollars tiers for y'all. So right now we're gonna shout out everybody on our Patreon. Corey, do you want to read the names, or would you like yeah, me to read the names? Name. I'm gonna read these one names because I don't have them on the list. So shout out to we got a couple new free members. So we got Amir Al Daraji, tough tough first name, tough last name. Cause Corey started dropping stuff. Shout out to Triz.4K and Taji Peterson. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all, nigga. You know what? And oh yeah, Corey is about to read off the rest of the names. Hold on, I'm about to bring it up right now. Let's see if Corey. Did you ever read the names, Corey? I did. You did? Let's see if you can go. You can go. Not mess up. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Oh, here we go. Here you go. Go crazy, bro. No skips. No messes up. All right, Patreon subscribers. Free subscribers, we got. Oh wait, move the mic up. My fault. I need, I need that energy, bro. Patreon subscribers, yeah. we got Jalen Strong. Woo! Clap it up for Jalen Strong. We got Darnell Vander 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 Vad. Vander 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 Vad. Vander Vad. We got Levi O'Neal. We got Levi. Jordan Jordan Smith. We got Javer that's a black ass name. What's his name? Javarion Jackson. Jackson. That's my boy. I don't know if that's you or Jaquavion. I don't know which one of y'all. There's we a Jaquavion got, in there. We got uh ha ha BS just 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 shitting you. You are, I don't know who you are, but ba, DM me. I want to know what your real name is. Yes, Bashuba did. I think he just went ha, like this on the keyboard. Ha 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 shabid. Ha ha shabid. Corey's still trying. Ha 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 hib. He hurting. Ha hib. Ha hib. Ha hib. Ha Ha hip shoe. Stop. Bush bush did. Bush the bush hip did. hop top the dip dop the dump stop. And my favorite of the all, I heart big booty freaks. I agree with you. My <laughs> nigga. Uh Farming, you're definitely like white. Farmington Flemings. That's a great name though. I love that Gene name. Gene Paul Sr. Shout out to Junior. Shout out to Junior, yeah. Summer Mc McNear, McNear, I think it's McIntyre, McIntyre, McIntyre. I think it might be McIntyre. It's not McIntyre. It might be McIntyre actually. I don't know. Entire. Shout out to you. No, it is McIntyre. Summer McIntyre. My bad, bro. Uh, Robert Shelton. You sound like you do construction. <laughs> <laughs> O'Shea. Shout out to you, O'Shea. One name. Uh, is it Ice Cube son? I was just about to say O'Shea Jackson. Yeah. Drew, shout out to Uncle Drew. Yes, sir. Uh, Jay Jaquay. Wait, Jaquay what's his name? Young? Drew. Just Drew. You know the. You know Jay has like a, like a low key a stalker named Drew. Damn. You know it's crazy. Like that's that, him. Nah, it might be because I remember. So Jay, there was a kid, there was a dude that liked Jay in high school, uh -huh. and like he would always like he used to give Jay presents and stuff like that mm. and give him gifts. And then when we started talking, like he was still text a happy birthday and like yeah. he would message her randomly, like saying he like, really hate you for real. I know. Like JB think he trying to kill me. Cause Jay on FaceTime. Yeah. What's up, Jay? I didn't even peep she was on FaceTime. I didn't, I forgot she was. Did you say hi to her? I said hi. She didn't answer. Oh, let's see if she does. Hi, Jay. I guess not. She, she probably go, she probably doing something. Anyway. Is it on mute? Am I on mute? You might be on mute. That's why. Why am I on mute? 
Yo, Jay, I didn't know you was here the whole time, bro. What's up, Jay? Everybody say it was good to Jay in the comments. Yep. Damn, she's still not talking. Wait, she's about to say in three, two, one. Jaylene. What's her last name? Sierra. Jaylene Sierra. I'm in the shower. Oh. So I, I talk, bro. Let's hear Hello. that bath. Let's hear that bath water. <laughs> <laughs> Your cousin's sick. It's not dirty. I ain't say it was dirty. See, you trying to expose yourself. I ain't say it was dirty. <laughs> I said, let's hear it. Uh, let's hear that water run, man. Bro, no. We, Bye, talking about, we talking about your stalker. We talking about Drew. Oh, my God. Shot. When he comes to see that and kill you, I want to hear that. <laughs> I told you. Shout out to my nigga Drew. You want my, you want my man Shorty, bro. No, nah, there's, a, there's a dude <laughs> named Drew on the on the Patreon. Shout out to you, bro. Get what you need, bro. Feel me? There's no anything in life is not un impossible. Bro. What are you doing? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm trying to inspire. I'm trying to inspire the youth, bro. Yo, let <laughs> me right. just know every, anything is possible. KG said it first, bro. Shout out to you, Drew. Please. Um, bye, Jay. I'm about to put you on bye. mute again. Get, yeah, watch, watch them toes. I know people I love be you. watching their toes. Come on, bro. You can do that after the video. No, nah, no, nah, she, she has to say it on camera. All right, say say you love him so I can mute you again. I love you more. Right. This nigga's a lame. <laughs> 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 um. Shout out to uh, she was on the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I didn't peep. I forgot. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Jaquavi ja Jaquavion. Jaquavion, I think that's my boy. He from Charlotte. I was, I thought he was from Atlanta. Uh -huh. That's an Atlanta name. But he from Charlotte. Shout bro. out to Jesse. I think that's a porn star name. <laughs> Jesse Rodriguez. Shout out to Jesse Rodriguez. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Kev. My nigga Kev. Yep. Shout out to Rob Quash. Rob Quash. Yeah. Shout out to Cal. Feel me? What's up, my nigga Cal? Yeah. Shout out to Nuh. That's the shell. His name is Noah. No, Noah. I he, so, he cooked me on in the in, the, in my DMs. He, he says Arabic. No, -uh, I guess. Yeah, no, probably like no, that. No, -uh. no. -uh. So no, -uh, the shell. Uh, shout out to Isabel Graham. You sound like a, a great outstanding woman. Sound like you'll be a, a lawyer one day. <laughs> shout, <laughs> shout out to Leak. Feel me? You be leaking. Hey, bro. Uh, shout out to my my nigga DJ Willis. Yes, nigga, sir. Play play that shit for me, man. You know what I like to hear. Um, <laughs> shout out to my nigga Raymond. P Padilla. P Padilla. Yep. You sound Asian. Ah, Filipino. Is he? I don't know. Uh, he sound Filipino. You sound Asian. Shout out to Alyssa Smith. You sound black. Really? I thought she was, it sounded white to me. Nah, Alyssa. I, I know how it's spelled. This is the black. Shout out <laughs> to Laquell Ingram. I know you from the hood. He from Harlem, bro. Uh, he is? My boy from Harlem. He's from Harlem. Yes, I, knew, I was about to say, you sound like from New York. <laughs> Shout out to Tyrone Bones Jr. He, I know. he. That nigga sound like a lame. I know that nigga <laughs> lame. Shout out to Corey Petty. That nigga sounds like the greatest nigga to ever live. <laughs> um, shout out to King Fry. Is that uh? No, that's not Fritz. Oh, you said that before. Uh, shout out to King Fry. You sound like you delusional. <laughs> Second round steals. These are these are five dollar tier members. So shout out to shout all y'all in the five dollar tiers. Thank, thank you for paying your for us, us five dollars. Thank you for paying your money. I like these cheap bastards ahead of us. <laughs> um, shout, out to our, shout out to DJ Khalid. Khalid. Yes, sir. Feel me? Wait, actually, DJ Khalid, I think you unsubscribed. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. I'm outing you right here. Taking Everybody out. jump him in the... Take, all the cult members jump him. Take, taking that away. Fuck DJ Khalid. But he's a free member now. But it's okay. You missed right, out. You're a free member. That's cool. Uh, shout out to Muhammad. Yes, sir. Muhammad. Oh, wait. Maybe it was Muhammad. I don't think it was DJ Khalid. Sorry, DJ Khalid. Sorry, I'm going to take Khalid. that back. I take that back if you didn't. My bad, bro. Shout out to Tamia. You're a real one. Yep. Uh, shout out to Trey Simmons. Trey Simmons, my boy from Houston. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, let's go, Trey. Now for our first round lottery picks. The $10 tier. The $10 tier. tiers. I like these other cheap bastards ahead of us. <laughs> um, first round steals. Uh, Tavon Cox. My boy. You feel me? You got a big cock, my boy. <laughs> and uh, Leland Poole. He Filipino. Leland. It's Leland. Nah, he look. He sound black. Nah, he le it's Leland, bro. Leland. That's how. He, that's how you say it. Leland Poole. Shout yeah. out to you, bro. You invited to the Diddy party. Right to the Dad's party, the Discord party. You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all again for tuning into another episode, of No Regrets Podcast episode. La, la, la. My bad. La, 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 la. Elmo's world. Yeah, Did you me. like Elmo as a kid, or were you a Barney type of guy? I was a Barney nigga. I think I was not. Nah, when I was a younger kid, though. I was Elmo like from a from like one to three, and nah. then when I met Barney, bro, something about that green dinosaur. He did. I think it was to purple. Me. Oh yeah, that purple dinosaur. He did things to me, bro. He did things to a lot of people. Stay tuned next episode. But yeah, like <laughs> like comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're new to ch new to the channel, post notifications, especially post notifications. You know, it helps us in the algorithm. Hell yeah. And 
Follow us on Discord. We got a lot of events joining on Discord. So if you guys want to be a part of that, join on Discord now. Everything linked below. Join our Patreon if you want more exclusive episodes. You want more early access episodes. We got a lot of haunted things coming. Wink, wink, wink. All that good stuff. Halloween's coming. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what we finna do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Any last words, Corey, before we end this off? Okay, I'm regular. You not regular. You regular. We regular gangsta. We definitely regular. No regular man gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.